What is up, everyone? I guess I've been live for a couple minutes here. Let me copy thing or comments. Post this in here. But who wants to come in and join me? <clears throat> no, uh, Orlando's going to be coming in. Stoop. What's up, Blue? You want to join in, too? Have a conversation with uh, Orlando here soon? And Stuke? It's up to you, man. You doing okay? You doing good? Okay. That's good. And yeah, my daughter and my wife are up in... Uh, up close to North Carolina because my daughter's got a dance competition tomorrow. So I am here by myself with my son. He's playing Fortnite. What's up, <laughs> Scott? So are you in your uh, your motor home? Yep. Sitting here in my fifth wheel. Uh, so you, you, you're wearing the Detroit hat, and I'm wearing the Brooklyn. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should go get a Detroit hat. <laughs> so, uh, um, how how was the show last weekend for you? That you were it's working pretty, pretty awesome show. So, besides what you what you showed us in the text, did you get anything else? Um, I got a nice gift from Matt. Wow. And Tyrus. Hold on. Hold, hold on. It, it's been a minute since, since, since I was on here. I gotta, I gotta make you, um, where's the, there we go. Solo layout. Oh yeah. I remember seeing that on, um, I think you posted that on Instagram, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, I did. Very generous. Yeah. Mm hmm. Even though it's like a con common player card, I mean, they'll still run for quite a bit, don't they? Yeah, I think so. The commons are even hard to find. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one of those in my collection one day. There's an LK line out there. <laughs> Probably, something, probably a little pricey. <laughs> so you've been to a show lately? No, the last one I went to was, what, probably about a month ago, less than, with my daughter. And that was it. So, okay. but, nope, ha haven't been to anything. Everything is, like, kind of small around here. It's either too far of a distance a couple hours away or um or or is months separation orlando there he is hey, hi. Uh, i see we got uh hodges in here and so need to get him in here on the live too yeah i texted people i texted lou rock i texted uh mike teddy see if he wants to come in I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah, well Lou, Lou commented. He said he's going to pick up Bob from uh, Dance. So. <clears throat> Shit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to fix my camera here. <laughs> no, I like I shifted in my chair and hit my knee against my desk. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I dropped a card. <laughs> How you doing, Scott? I got a new uh, backdrop. Oh, nice. What, let me see that. Oh, man, you got to oh, turn it down, man. Yeah. Yeah. My chair hit my knee against my desk. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> oh, Clemente, oh, Clemente, beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. That reminds me of that uh, Fleer card. That Clemente, uh, yeah, hitting oh, that's nice. nice, beautiful. 
Dun, dun. I love the flag too at yep. the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Lou. <laughs> Who's gonna like that? Let me uh put the chat here a second here, see if I can see the chat. Mm. Oh, I can't see the chat, but very nice. What, did you just get that, Stukes, at the Dallas show? I got it at an antique shop today. Oh, nice. It's only like eighteen dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, uh, I know a couple of people would like that piece. <laughs> More than a couple. Yeah. The pennant's from ninety ninety four. Ninety four. Wow. I didn't even know the pennants had had a um, um, a year on them. The new ones do. Let me see. The old ones generally don't. Some of them do, but for the most part, they don't. Okay. Yeah. That, um, I got uh, that one from Nolan Ryan, eighty nine. I can't. I can't see you guys. Yeah. You, 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 you got Scott there alone. Oh, there it is. There we go. I'm sorry. Got that one. There we go. There's Jason. <sighs> I got, what is the other oldies that I got down here? Back back in the day, when the, the bad boys of Pistons. That was my yeah. first basketball game. This one, let's see. This one doesn't have a year on it. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> I got a few, but they're from the Marlins, and they're not recent. You know, they're from the 80s and stuff like that. I mean, from the uh, when they first started, from the 90s, late 90s, and the uh, 2000s. Okay. This guy, this guy had a 2003 Marlins. With three players on it. Oh, that's nice. I should. I, I don't even remember. I've got mine downstairs. I should probably go check to see what I got there. I know I've got a few of them. Okay. Um. The news. What do you guys think of the news that's going on? Otani. Yeah. I guess I have to hear more before I know. I don't really have an opinion on it yet, but I, I hope it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have no comment. I mean, I don't know. It just, uh, you know, things come out and you got to wait and see really how, how it ends up. I mean, we're not going to know anything for a while, at least not all the details and everything coming out. Okay. And either way, I, you know, it, I don't think it's going to end up hurting Otani. I don't think it'll get up to Otani. I think they just, uh, the guy's just going to say, hey, I did it. Or You know how it is. Yeah. So Got to be the fall guy somewhere, you know. But I don't think Major League Baseball will allow or will want Otani or allow Otani to be banned like a Pete Rose or something like that. I can't see that happening right now. Okay. You know. But Other yeah. news, um, CGC buying uh, JSA? How you guys feel about that? For me, I I think that's a great move for them, you know, because now they can authenticate and uh, really it's the only competition because SGC doesn't authenticate autographs. So, uh, you know, PSA is really the only one other than Beckett. And, you know, who's going to Beckett? I, I don't I don't see Beckett lasting much longer. So I just think uh, it's, you know, they're pretty big. I mean, CGC is a, is is huge especially in the coin business and, and all of that stuff. And I think that um, they're going to try to give PSA at least some type of fight, at least that they can, uh, you know, also authenticate autographs along with cards and everything else, you know. So, and they're yeah. huge in the TCG. And uh, that's where I think they're, they're pretty close to a PSA in, in, in the TCG, you know, area. 
I agree, Orlando. I think it's good to have options for autograph authentication. If you'll be able to get them slabbed now through GSA. I think SGC used to do um, GSA authentication way back when. And then uh, didn't uh, PSA buy, was it PSA that ha bought JSA? And then JSA went on themselves by themselves again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure PSA was involved with that, but I think JSA is the only one that's independent at this point. Yeah. Okay. So we got Mike, got Mike Petty showing up in here. We got Alex Bowman fifty three in here. Hey, if anybody wants to join us, yeah, I, I put the link in there. The link is in the chat there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Mike should show up in here since he doesn't have any eye appeal. You know. Yeah, I yeah. We're That's showing. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alex should show show up. You know, he he's got a lot of great stuff. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you know, Jason, you come on too, man, if you want to. Yeah, whoever wants to come on, I think. Uh, Let's see. We get a. Uh, see if we Craig, get Craig get back in here. Yeah. He's he's so, learning. He's learning. I think it's be his first. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> well, see. Alex, I had a good time going through my exhibits and finding those cards. <laughs> yeah. You did uh, great. Yeah. And those uh, men are beautiful. The ones you picked up, Scott, those mantles, exhibits. Oh, thank you. I think I have six different now. I need 11 total. Wow. <laughs> so there's 17, right? Oh, uh, no, there's 11 in the set. 11 in, in the set for different mantles. Are they? Yeah. Uh, they're different years, though, right? Yeah. Uh, three different poses. And then the different some... back. Yeah, three different stat backs and eight blank backs. Wow. Hey, Mookie, jump on too. I put the link in there. Oh, there's, there's Greg. You got to yeah. unmute you. There we go. Can we unmute you? Hey, Greg. You have a mic? I'm trying to unmute you. He's on mute, I think, right now. Yeah. Press the mic button. <laughs> oh. I, we we can see him. We just can't hear him. So that's yeah. Uh, I'm trying to unmute the his mic, but it's uh, they choose to mute themselves. That's what it says. They choose to mute themselves. Yeah. Um. I don't know how to um we have that can't, stop. Can't hear you, but there should be a mic button. Just press the mic button. Maybe on the three little. <laughs> Three little this buttons there. If you click on that, you might be able to. Yeah, maybe there. Yeah. How's that? Um, well, there we go. Okay. Can you uh, can you hear me now? Can't hear yeah, you. Yeah, you got to uh, turn the volume off on the channel. Like down on the maybe oh. on the three little buttons there. If you click on that, you might be able to. Yeah, maybe there. How's that? Uh, well, there it is. Okay. okay. That's really delayed. Can you hear me now? Oh. What happened to I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah, but I'm going to remove that one. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. I got the echo I have two of you in here, Orlando. Do I have the echo? Do I have the echo? I'm coming back. I'm yeah. coming back. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me let me leave and try again. Hold on. There you go. Sorry about that. All right. Can we hear you? No, nope, it's still it's still on you, Greg. Still an echo. Trying to testing, testing, testing. 
Yep. yep. Do you have the video, the video open, open somewhere? Yeah. Okay, you gotta probably close that out or mute that part. Close your YouTube if you have it open. Is that better? That's better. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Stu, it was the uh, YouTube. I had the YouTube opened up. All right, so we should be good here. All right. I'm sorry about that, guys. No, it's all good, man. We're good. Every time I try to join, I get the echo back and forth, and uh, I always just log out out of frustration. So. No, it's it's all good. Is this your uh, first live? Yeah, it's the first time I've been on live. Yeah, yeah. I've been, welcome, I've been welcome. Hanging around, watching a lot, so uh, I always enjoy it. Nancy, you uh, picking up anything? Okay, now I hear an echo going through somewhere. Yeah, now, now you're, yeah, yeah. I hear the echo again. I hear the echo. I didn't do anything. Echoes return. Return. Yep. Yep. And okay, can you hear anything? Yeah, echo. Mm -hmm. Let me mute myself here. Can you hear an echo? No, uh, it's echo, echo, echo. No, no echo. No, it's coming. That, from is that better? Echo. Let's try it. No echo. Nope, that's good. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, I did get something good in the mail today, so I get this nice uh, 1989 Perez Steel Mickey Mantle postcard. Oh, that's nice. I love those yeah. Perez Steels. Those are my favorites. Yeah, those I, are uh, awesome. It's really nice. It's an SGC. It's like a, a nine, and uh, just really nice. I uh. 30 bucks I got it on eBay, so I thought that was a pretty good deal for yeah. had my mantle collection. So yeah. I had a couple of those uh sets uh and uh I've got the whole set autographed. And uh I've got a lot of duplicates. Somebody's interested in uh one of those I got a lot of autographs still left. I, I sold the mantle and a few others. That, that my duplicates. Yeah. I like I like the bigger size stuff. I really do. Some people don't like it, but I kind of yeah. I mean, they're postcards. I, yeah, yeah. I know my eyes are getting bad. They're not that bad. Yeah, but, you know. But I, I do. <laughs> come like on, Ricky. Stuff. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like this uh, Eddie Matthews uh, great moments. Oh, I love those. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. I really, really, yeah. I love Matthews' signature. It's so so good. I love all those postcards, and that's one of the things that I collected. Uh, you know, about 20 years ago, I started with the uh, celebration set and the press steel cards. Mm -hmm. And then I went into doing the same thing with the uh, football and I collected the goal line art, which are very okay. similar. And then, um, you know, a lot of those I got autographed, some of them I bought that were autographed. But, uh, those are very, they're great artwork. Yeah. And what I like about that celebration set is it, it has the portrait version and then it also has mantle batting on the bottom like a, you know and, and then the different ones have you know like campanella has has uh you see how that is it down yeah. there yeah yeah that's real nice he's got you know the batting yeah. at the bottom with the you know yeah the part of the picture to catch everybody so yeah and, yeah, and, and dick cool. dick perez does an awesome job with those yeah 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 i'm, I'm waiting on that documentary of his that he's got coming out yeah I locked I locked out and met him at the national. I was walking around the floor with Dom, and Dom's going turns the corner and there's a uh, Dick Perez signed autographs. So I grabbed a couple things and got a couple autographs. Talked to him a little bit. He didn't know how he was going to get out of the Chicago National. <laughs> he thought he'd get lost. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed him. I I knew he was going to be there, but uh, I just wasn't there when when he was there. Unfortunately, I think. Orlando, you and I were walking around together that yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't I haven't showed this off yet. I just opened this out of my mail. I, the only person I showed so far is Dom and, and Scott. I, I texted him. 
I just saw this. Yes, it is. The Mannies. Yeah. That's, what was the 1958? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just says 1950s Mannies Baseball Land Premium, Bob Feller. So I was like, it was a pretty good price. So I had to pick it up. Yeah. That's nice. That's a lot. That's yeah. better looking in person than it uh, than it was on the screen. Woo! That's beautiful. I like oh. those Manny's photos. Some of them get kind of pricey though. That, that I noticed. Yeah. But you yeah, know, Bob Feller is is it's so undervalued. I mean, really, when you think about him and what he did and and how long he pitched. Right. You know, they said that he was the fastest pitcher. At one time, he was regarded as the fastest pitcher in baseball. And, um, you know, he was he's just and a great guy, too. I got to meet him in Tampa and uh, shook his hand. He had big hands. And the guy was just so nice. And he, he was charging $5 for an autograph. And he charged $5 for an autograph for years, yep. you know. And he just talked to everybody, took pictures with everybody. I mean, I've got a, a few of his autographs, three or four, yeah. that, you know, he just would sign and, you know, if you go and you pay the $5 and if you have something else, he'd sign it too. Even if you didn't pay, he was a super nice guy. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> he used, he used to sign so much. I know a show promoter that I know, Bob Feller would call him up every three months. Do you need me to sign at a show? Do you need me to sign at a show? And then he'd go out afterwards after the show and he'd sign. He'd talk to him in the bar for about three hours and he'd sign a bunch of autographs there. <laughs> it's just the autograph was his, machine. Was his nickname Rapid Bob Feller? Wasn't that his nickname? Yeah. Rapid, Rapid Bob. Robert? Yeah, yeah. Rapid Robert. Rapid, Rapid Robert. Robert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he, he at one time, uh, Scott probably knows this, he, uh, he, he threw a baseball going against a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. And they, they timed him that way, and he had to throw the ball within a certain area. And had to go through that at the same time as the motorcycle so they can time it. And, uh, you know, I, I think they estimated he was, like, close to, like, 98 miles an hour or something like that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in those days, that was, you know, the fa- he was the fastest pitcher, regardless of the fastest pitcher. And, uh, you know, he was so good that when he came in, uh, to pitch his first game, uh, if I remember correctly, I think he struck out 15 batters. The first major league game that he pitched, and he was 17 years old, and uh, he came in really, really young, right out of high school. He was actually in high school when he started uh, pitching, and I think uh, I was, some people in, in the comments will. Probably, I can't see the comments, but hopefully, some people will comment there on. Really, the greatness of Bob Feller. He's super underrated, in my opinion. Well, I'm popping stuff. Can you see the screen, Orlando? Uh, yeah. So, so Detroit Collector. Peter B's in here. I think Peter should hey, join Peter. in the conversation. I mean, I'll add the link again if anybody wants to jump on in. Yeah. Yeah, I, I noticed that, like, going to card shows and, and stuff, like Bob Feller's autographs are pretty cheap. Yeah, you know, because he started like what was was he like seventeen? Or he was seventeen like that? when he started in the majors? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, that's just that's crazy. Yeah. No, and he struck out. Uh, I think one of his first games, he struck out uh, seventeen batters. His first game, I think, was fifteen, and then uh, a few games after that, seventeen. And okay. He was just uh incredible pitcher people don't remember and and, and he, again like like all of the players during those days they had to go off to war yeah and uh again you know a, a hero and an incredible pitcher if i remember right was did, he was in the navy did he do the navy yeah uh, yeah was, yeah i know i this book i just finished reading the warren spawn biography you know, great book, you know, 
Milwaukee Braves fans. I, I love Warren yeah. Spahn, but he, he talked a lot about Bob Feller and facing him in the uh, World Series and I think it was, what, 48? And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I got that same book. I need to read yeah. it. Yeah, it's just it's yeah. a great book. Great book. And uh, the thing There's I love some about great pictures like, in that World yeah. Series. The thing I like about reading these old books is they talk about, you know, players that you see on the baseball cards. Like, I'm collecting the 56 set right now. And uh, a guy like Rip Rapolsky, you know, played for the St. Louis Cardinals, but he's mentioned in the Spawn book, the Matthews book, the Aaron book, you know, because he, he hit a, a game-winning double that knocked the, the Braves out of the uh, pennant race in 56. You know, and so I look at the Rip Rapolsky cards I've got, and they kind of bring them to life a little bit when you read these books. And uh, I just love reading the old books on the players, and, and it just kind of brings it together with the cards even, which is really nice, so... Um, yeah, Craig, that, that really is what enhances the hobby. And, you know, it, it, once you learn about these players and what they did and realize that, you know, I mean, they, they made a baseball card out of this guy, these yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. you know, they were great players back in the day yeah. and they had their fans and stuff. And yeah. uh, it's just so for me, that's, that's really some of the better part of the hobby is, is knowing and learning about these players and learning about the history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually going through like uh, what I, it's a saber biography, and I'm actually printing out little biographies for each one of the players for the '56 set, and that way for my my grandkids or my my even my sons, you know that that will be some information to go along with the player, you know, and uh, yeah. you know, and whatever they do with it, they do with it. I enjoy reading it, but, you know. Yeah, uh, I love the cards, but I love the stories behind the cards. You know, I mean, I, I love the the little facts about the players. You know what I mean. Here's the yeah. 48 Braves, 48 Indians. Oh, man. <laughs> you can see Satchel Page and the Indians there. Bob Feller, right. Warren Spahn. Mm. That's awesome. Those are nice. Hey, Craig, are you on Facebook by chance? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, because there's there's if you like baseball books, there's a group called Baseball Books. That's okay. that's what the group is actually called. Mm -hmm. And p there's people that like once they're done reading, they'll be like, "Hey, I'll sh I'm done with this. Who wants it for free? Just pay shipping, or they sh sell it at a lower cost." <laughs> in there, so I'll definitely yeah. look that up. Yeah, I mean it's nothing but baseball books, and there's stuff I've never even seen it. And there's even People that, that's like, oh, my dad wrote a book, and they like promote the book and or like uh, everything. So yeah, that's awesome. I'll look that up. Thanks. Mm -hmm. As far as Strongsville, that he was asking, I'm going to Strongsville. I don't know who else is going. I'm going. And then the exactly. next one, just, I'm north of Pittsburgh. I'm not. I'm oh, like okay. maybe an hour half away from Strongsville. So you going, Scott? <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm still in the Dallas area, so I'll be. And Dave, I don't, I don't think you're going. No, uh, I'll be in, uh, in Charleston that that weekend. It's my, I got my daughter's second dance competition going on, so I'll be down there, and then maybe meeting, maybe meeting up with John Mangini for a few hours. <clears throat> <clears throat> if he doesn't go to the the show yeah so. i was hoping to meet up with uh john he's in tampa right now meeting okay. up from new rock and he's going to be at the uh at the tampa show tomorrow okay with a few um, other guys there okay yeah. and, was, you know, jason want to know if uh, anybody's going to the national yeah i'm going to the national of course yeah yeah i'm gonna again since it's so close by i can't pass it up so you know I can drive back home after each day. I'm that close. So that'll be nice. Yeah. Hmm. Dave and I will walk the aisles like last year. And Scott too. <laughs> yeah. Here's a question for you, Craig. Yeah, I've been. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, the 52 Matthews on my list. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um. Hold on. Boy, I uh, I felt like I let one get away about two months ago. Um, the front of it was just beautiful. It was perfect. And it had been glued into a photo album. 
you know, so you had paper loss on the back. But the front was just, it looked so good. And it was, it was a little, you know, it was in my price range. I could have swung it, you know, and I, I hemmed and hawed and I let it go. And I know I've heard Orlando say over and over. Yeah. When, but when you see it, go for it, you know, and I, I just really, all right. I let that one go. All right. So I'm that, gonna... that, that's my kind of card, Craig. I think yeah. that, you, you know, that's where you can get a good deal. You know, here, let me show you what, something here. This is, you know, oh, I've never seen that card in person. Yeah. Look how perfect that card is. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Paper loss on the back. Right. But, you know, so it's a one. Mm -hmm. But you just can't get anything with that kind of quality on the front. No. no. Because the reason is because it was in a scrapbook for such a long time that it retains the colors and all that. So, right. you know, that that's from 1888. So that's 100 and. 35 years old, I guess. Right. Whatever it is. It's all the other Matthews I look at that are like, you know, PSA 1, STC 1s, 2s. Um, I can. There's no way. Get it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look yeah. at that. No, but this, this one's on a Discord here. Yeah. I know the lighting kind of sucks. Yeah. I'm going to get it, but it's it's a it's an SGC authentic color added, and he's asking thirty two fifty for it. Yeah. I mean, that's I'm, beautiful. I'm, I'm really hoping to uh, at Strongsville or the National to, to try to work some kind of a package deal, maybe. You know, I've got I've got some mantle cards, uh, some duplicates. You know, I I got. I think I'm going to be picking up a 55 Matthews in a in a, a SGC eight. Mm. There's only like 26, I think, that are eight and a half and higher. So I'm I'm hoping to kind of get. Some stuff and maybe do a package deal. Um, I've got a Ryan rookie card that's all getting graded right now. It was part of that uh, thrift shop find. So uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's I, I need one for my collection. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and when I when I started collecting again, I started I collected in '72 is the first year I remember. I'm 61 years old, so I remember getting cards in '72, and I really had a hard. I loved to read, but I had a hard time with math. And so my parents were, they, they were good with getting cards because it, it made you look at numbers and, you know, kind of put that together. And so I collected from 72 to like 78 when I got my driver's license. Then I got back in it in 87. I remember I was at a convenience store buying diapers and there were some football cards and I was in line. So I bought them. And so I got back in in 87, but I remember going to the coin card, the copper coin shop in Marquette, Michigan, and the guy had all kinds of vintage stuff. And I was more interested in 86 and 87 tops. And you know, he, he, I can still remember looking at those 55 Bowman cards because they were so different, you know, in that showcase. And, and I just still remember like buying those 87 tops wax boxes and getting a Jose Canseco and thinking I'd, found a gold mine you hit the lotto and uh if i could go back if i could go back oh man yeah, i mean we, we would all say that about certain things but yeah, yeah. of course you know yeah. but, but craig craig you did great on that uh find that you did i don't yeah. know if everybody knows what he found but uh you want to just kind of mention a few things like i think you found was it five or seven mantles yeah i i had uh God is great. And one, he was my 100th subscriber. So I thought I'd mail him out a, a 67 Matthews, Eddie Matthews. And uh, so he's in Japan. So I had to go to the post office to get, you know, international postage and everything. So I mailed it out. And as I was walking out of this little, little uh, convenience mart, there's a guy with a thrift store there. And I said, Hey, you got any cards for sale? And he was like, yeah. And he showed me a couple of like 62 pirates cards he had. And we were talking and, he said he had more, you know, and he had some football sets. So I bought the football sets from him. And then he started telling me why he had a Ryan rookie card and this and this and this. And I thought, well, okay, we'll see. And uh, after church, I'm a pastor too. So after church on Sunday, um, I took my wife with me because she's my, my conscience when it comes to buying like a lot of cards. And, uh, you know, cause I'd be like a kid in the candy store, but 
So he went there and he had all kinds of cards and he said, you got to buy them all though. That was the key. They all had to go. He didn't want to piece them up. And uh, we started off with the worst to the best, you know, and there were cards that were stuck together, like in a box. I, I don't know if it was syrup. I don't know what it was, but they were stuck together. But the, the, in there, there were some 72 like the Shrimpskis and, and the 71 Clemente. But as we went along, we went through these boxes and there was, you know, tons of these 1969s and 67 high numbers. And uh, we got to the binder finally. And there was the Ryan rookie card and I think seven, six mantles, six errands, about eight or nine Clementes, the second year Johnny Bench, the Ryan rookie card, the second year Ryan, Tom Seavers, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And uh, there was like the 67 Brooks Robinson, two of them that were in a different box. I mean, so there was a lot of stuff there. I mean, there was a lot. And uh, I've gone you know, through, I counted them up. I went through every single card that was salvageable, and it's 11,000 cards. So, wow. You know, you know, the best thing about that story is that I always believe that good things happen to good people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he went out and did a good deed. You know, right. he was sending out a free card all the way to, one of the best commentators on YouTube got his grade, of course. All the way. And, you know, yeah. It was great. He just dropped on him a beautiful collection that he would have never seen if he wasn't at the right place at the right yeah. time and just went in there and asked a question. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, thanks for sharing that story because I think that's something that, uh, you know, needs to be said. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. It's, uh, I was really surprised. I, uh, I was shocked. And so like even right now, like I'm just I'm going through these 69s and uh, I have so many of them. Now I'm actually probably going to build a set. And I I'd not I'd gotten away from set building. You know, that was kind of something I got away from. But I'm probably within 75 cards of having a complete set. Do you feel like those cards are like are they like mid grade, low grade? Um, a variety. There were some that were absolutely trashed. But then I found like three Carlton Fisk, I call them Cecil Cooper rookie cards because Cecil Cooper is my favorite player. But I found three Carlton Fisk cards that were just in, in really great shape. Yeah, I mean, just I'm going to send them in for grading. Uh, the mantles are, they're grade worthy. I, I, you know, I'm thinking they're probably like between a four and a five. And I, okay. I tried to be really, you know, strict with what i was looking at um that ryan rookie card's really sharp the, the back is a little bit off center but i'm thinking that's going to probably be like a five or a six um and just last night just to real quick what's amazing i was going through a box that had all kinds of 1973 tops and i was breaking them up by series series one two three four five well 90 percent of these cards were all from series five which tells me that he somebody had bought that wax box, you know, a series five wax box, looked at them, put them together and put them in a box. And, uh, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Well, in, in 73, uh, I'm pretty sure that they sold how good, how nice series, but they mm. also sold uh, boxes that had mixed. Mm. And 72 was the last real only series only distribution but still the the higher ones like always the high number of cards in, in series are the toughest ones to find what was that scott i interrupted you and how the nice the brooks robinsons were from 67. that's really a tough nice. card yeah really really nice uh they they you know pull one of them out here and uh I was happy to, again, these were in the bottom of a box that were, um, you know, intermingled with just a bunch of junk. I mean, that's nice. I mean, beautifully no centered. Prices. Yeah, that does uh, look a little nice. Bit of corner wear. Don't say centered double D jump on soon. He's already yeah. here listening. Yeah. That's an example of what was just kind of 67 Brooks. <laughs> That's a card ID for my collection. If you're taking it to the national, let me know. I'll so trade. many of uh, these with 
Mickey. Uh, I've already sold a couple on eBay, but just they were all over the place. <laughs> there you was should, a you bring them to the shows and then sell them off to us while we're there. Yeah. Take our money. <laughs> and then the, the uh, 67 uh, high numbers, there were so many of them. So many of them. And again, it was just, it was amazing. You'd, you don't hear that very grab, often. No, you know. no. You'd grab a stack of cards and, and there were a couple that were just like destroyed. I mean, destroyed. But then like, you'd find that Carlton Fisk that was in really, really good shape. You know, really good shape. And it was just, it was kind of a... Uh, it was so interesting going through that box. I took my time and uh, I went from the worst to the best because I knew if I went from the best to the worst, I'd probably stop halfway through, you know? So I wanted to keep like the, the golden nugget at the end, you know, to make sure I kept going through it. But I'm, you know, I'm kind of an organized, organ, an organizational freak. So I, I wanted to know exactly what I had got and what I spent my money on and, and uh, so on so well, congratulations on that find that's, yeah, thank that's you. an incredible find it. what was the best card out of that that find awesome uh, the, the nolan ryan rookie card would be best and i think then probably that uh probably the 66 mantle and the 67 are really really sharp and uh, okay so I, I think that's probably the best and uh what, what do you think that ryan you're, you sent that off for grading correct yeah it's off yeah well it's currently still in the bank i'm going to be sending it off for grading i was a little bit worried on psa sgc what's happening with them um i don't know i mean i'm an sgc kind of guy but i i was just a little bit wanting to hold my fire with the, let the dust settle on that PSA SGC thing. So Okay. What do you think no one's gonna get graded as? I, I wrote it down as a, a five to a six. And I, I took my, my light and I, I looked at it all different kinds of angles and you know it's really really sharp. Okay. And, uh, I don't have it here with me. <laughs> but uh one thing we did not raise our insurance um for our collectibles for our house insurance. And then my wife raises puppies. And uh, I've, I've always had bad feelings about something weird happening. <laughs> A dog getting in somehow, some way, something gets left out. And, you know, stranger things have happened. I don't know. You know I mean, you know, uh, Drew, a vintage legacy. Yes. Right. And you seen his video where like his dog chewed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have. I I just I mean we've we raised three boys and went through all the stuff with boys. We've got three granddaughters and uh I I've seen a lot of things happen because <laughs> that's unbelievable and I didn't want it to happen to that those Ryans and those mantles specifically. That's smart thinking. Next thing you know you got like a like a drawing on a card, you know, yeah. with a beard, mustache, sunglasses. Uh, that would be, <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. Yeah, I would, I would, uh, it'd be tough. I'm looking, I have a picture on my phone. I'm trying to find it right now. That's what I was looking for. But there was a bunch of Willie Mays cards in there too, so. No, no. <laughs> As, and that's not an afterthought because I really, I, I love Willie Mays, but. Uh, Mike, comb your hair, Mike. Come on, hit the link and come on. I don't know if there's any way you can see that. I, I just don't know. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Well, may, maybe after we end the live stream, you and I can exchange phone numbers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, or, or does somebody here have your phone phone number? Um, I, Chris from Missouri does. Um, okay. Well, I'll just wait till after after this, and then we can exchange. Yeah. Then. Let's see. I have one wait. question for you guys. What's that? Maybe you can help me with this. So, like Tony Oliva, you know, I've got I've got uh, his '64 card. And, okay. Uh, looking for a '63 rookie, and, and I've noticed the prices are so 
a high on that 63 rookie card. <laughs> He's probably digging for one right now. Yeah, I have it somewhere. But, I, I, you know, I got it in, in low grade. I'd like to get another one because I just got a raw. I'm looking through because I got a bunch of cards that I was going to get graded. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know, you know, okay. right now, whether I should send it to SGC too. So See, sure. one thing I love about doing lives with Orlando and Scott is you can ask them for something and they'll right. be like, oh, hold on. And it's right there. And I feel if, if Mike Petty showed up, it would be the same thing. Like you just right. like yeah. a card, it's like it's right there. It's not in my going to get graded pile, so it's probably on my uh, 63. Mine's, here. Yeah, I'll see how it's mine's 14 hours away. Uh, <laughs> I was just kind of curious. I mean, I, Tony Lee was a great player, and uh, yeah, you know, I just I've noticed that 63 just seems to be really kind of salty, and even in like mid grades. I just, you know, there it is. Yeah, you know, I'm solo you out there. Yeah, That's there Antonio you know. Oliva. It says Pedro Oliva. Huh, Pedro. Yeah. See him right, nice, right yeah. over here, right there. You know, the guy next to him on the bottom looks like like a kid I went to school with. <laughs> hmm. Ed Crane. I'm not that old. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's nice. Thing interesting okay. about Oliva, you got the 63, the rookie card, then 64, you've got you know this one here, the yeah. 65, he's on the cup at the tops cup, which yeah. is kind of it's just I, I can't think of many other players that really have three, you know, the rookie card and then the uh, the future stars card in a way than the the top, yeah. I, I think Gay, Gaylord Perry has that also, but uh, yeah, okay. this this is my this is my one of my favorite Oliva cards, this one. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a nice card. I love it with Yankee Stadium in the background. A yeah. nice smile. Yeah. What's up, Al? I, I feel like like Oliva is like underrated. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely underrated. There's a lot of He's players that are, are under underrated. Yeah. He's a, a lot great of guy them. in person. Look, I'm looking through my cards. Here's somebody that's underrated. I was looking through the 63s. This one just fell into the 62s. Kurt Flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kurt Flood is someone that definitely, I mean, what he did paved the way for players of sport. For, for Otani. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> paved the way for Otani. Definitely yeah. underrated. Right. Talking about underrated guys. Oh, look at that. He decides to show up. What's up there? there? He is. What's up? Yeah. Hey, just a second. Let me is. get another mic. This one's broken. You know, Orlando, but Flood, he was a heck of a ball player. Though. Hugo's on. Oh man, hey, my ratings go. are gonna go down now. I'm gonna lose uh -oh. subs with his mic's on. <laughs> <My son. laughs> no cussing. <laughs> Whatever you do. How are you guys? Oh, Who's, I on. can't see everybody. Let's see. Stooks. I recognize you. How are you? Doing great. And my eyesight is so bad on these little phones. And that's hey. Pastor Craig. How are you, Pastor you Craig? I'm doing good. We got a pastor on here, so I, I know. I can't wait here, to meet uh, you in person. You guys are showing some great cards. And that's Dave. I, I don't think I've met you before, Dave. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. You too. Pleasure to meet you. Nice. Nice. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, so we're collecting some baseball cards, are we? Yeah. Yep. Well, you you, you got to meet Dave. You got to meet Dave, Mike. Dave's a yeah. great guy. Dave and I spent um, literally the whole, I think it was the whole day at the National Walk in the whole place. Is yeah. that right? Gosh. Yeah. 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 Right before lunch and then after, yeah. Yeah, Not too yeah, many yeah. guys can keep up with you, Orlando, with your walking ability. <laughs> but you know what you can't do is you keep up with me. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I can't. Oh, nobody can keep up beers. with you. That's one nobody thing can you can't do. Yeah. What, what are you drinking there? What is that? I'm drinking a local beer. It's a German beer. It's called Ennegren. Okay. It's Perfect. delicious. Very low cal, just like my low eye appeal. What's it called? I, I and again, it's hard lemonade that you had going on there. That's what the topic. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's called Ennegrin. Ennegrin. It's, del it's delicious. Changed my life. You take it I, in and then I, you grin. Yeah, I used to. Uh, I, I gave up beer for quite a while until I found it during the pandemic, and I haven't stopped since. Almost just like baseball cards. 
Um, you like Trappist I, beer? What kind? Trappist. I don't know. I never heard of it. Trappist beer. Okay, there's only 11 Trappist breweries in the world. Trappist is brewed by monks or in front of monks. I like it, though. Yeah. Sounds good. Where do I buy it? There's only one in the United States. It's in Spencer, Mass in Spencer Massachusetts. Okay, how do you get it, though? You have to go there? You can't order it out or anything? I have, have no it. idea. I was stationed in Belgium, so, I yeah, I was lucky enough to. Well, here's know. looking at you. Happy Friday, fun day. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so what kind of, what are we showing? Some cards? I want to show you a couple cards I picked up recently. Go ahead. Let's see here. Here's a really nice one that I really I got stuck with it. I got a really cheap, cheap card. I, it's one of my first black and white cards. You know, I always collected color. You don't have to put me on the big screen. Oh, you're going full screen. That's embarrassing. Show card. Look at that. <laughs> Show the card. Okay, this is the ring going on in the background. Oh, yeah. That? Mm. Oh, yeah, it was nice. like, isn't that nice? Because, you know, I've been trying to get Walter Johnson's. I said, oh, I'm going to check this out. And since I got that BCP thing, it's costing me money when I find things <laughs> under value. So this is like my first. It's right, actually my right. first. And look at the back. Perfectly centered. Because that's the new thing now, centering on the back. That's what Mangini said. It's got great eye appeal, too. <laughs> it it yeah, really does. It for a three, I thought so, yeah. So I, I was lucky to get that. So that's the kind of stuff I've been getting lately. His first I good eye appeal card. I know that. Well, did you see that uh, that Theo today? He showed that club, that seventy one Kellogg's Clementi that I traded him. Oh, that was gorgeous. I told you it was gorgeous. Yeah, but when he set it out there, you're going, "Oh my god!" I'm going, "I can't believe I traded that to him." I, the funny thing was, is he traded me a uh, one of those juice cards, uh, the Clementi seventy two juice cards. Right. And uh, it was sent from the Clemente collection or whatever. I, I never, and I, I was just going to give him that card, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> it's like he's such a Clemente collector. And I had three of them. I he go, squeezed, Man, he really, like he squeezed, he, he squeezed me good, but I, I was happy to get something, a sharp stick for my eye, at least. It's better than nothing. I mean, it was pretty, it's pretty neat, you know, to have something like that. He said that uh, it was cut on the side really bad. He said, yeah, Clemente it, cut it really bad. Is this the one that you got? No, that's the Katie KA. KDKA, this is, yeah, I'll show yeah, you the yeah. one. Here's the one I got from him. It's pretty cool. Yeah, because this was also from the Clemente collection. Yeah. I didn't know that these were from the these things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So it was pretty cool. It was a good trade, you know, for him and for me. Like I, I, I see, look at look at how it's cut though on the side. Can you tell that how it's just yeah. It's he told me that he angle. told me he told me that Clemente cut it that way. <laughs> hey, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I go Clemente. okay. That's a yeah. It's a good story to it's tell. Great to have though. That's great to have. Great piece. Yeah, yeah. So Orlando knows I I actually uh, broke down and purchased a pretty big card, and the check just cleared oh, today, boy. Orlando. Uh -oh. oh boy, it's on full. its way. Full petty and, on us. And guess who knows about it? Only you, not even Hunyak. I wouldn't tell I my wife settled. about that. I yeah, so I just broke the news, so we'll talk about that. But uh, let's see. These are some other things because uh, Rick Oddball says he wanted to know what I picked up lately. These are some of the things I've been picking up lately. I, I picked up an Oddball, and I showed it on my video today. Let me see. This little mini Hannes oh, yeah. Wagner. Oh! 48 tops. It's, uh, 1948 tops magic photo. Oh, I've heard about those. That that's who makes it? Who, who's it made by? Tops. It's the first tops. tops card produced of uh, baseball. And there's the back. Gorgeous. It's so small. It's like a postage stamp. It's like a postage stamp. You should give it to Papino and he can lick it on the yeah. back. <laughs> Dylan doesn't like it because it's way off centered. It is. You see the way it's turned? It's soft center in the. Yeah. He would put it. He would make it centered in the uh, in his own little flip. Hey, those yeah. flips are catching steam. Everybody loves his his oh. flips. No, yeah, Orlando. Yeah. I watched. I watched that video today when you had that card. You talked about it, and I couldn't believe what you said that that you paid for it. And, yeah, uh, I, I, that that's what I was going to the post office to mail some cards I sold on eBay, and I I paused it. Video went in and, and sent the cards out, and I came back out and I finished listening to it. When it was like two minutes later, you told what you well, don't, don't say it because I'm going to sell it to Mike Petty for. Well, I want to, I want to hear. I was just going to ask, how much did you pay for it? 
You ain't gonna play with it. <laughs> no, it, it's funny because, you know, when you look at the comp, the last sale was in November and, and it was for $455. Right. This one was on as a two. This one was on there and it started the first bid at $99. So I put a bid on it, $99. Nobody else bid. I got it for $99. You've so got to be shitting me. I swear. I swear. I'll show you. On eBay? Time. On eBay, nobody saw it. it hey, was that's, that's that's absurd. That, that's that's why I, that's what I'm gonna well, you know, I couldn't believe it. Maybe things, maybe, maybe prices are coming down because, like I said, I that I'm getting that Walter Johnson that I never would have bid on, and if I didn't get that VCP recently, the last month, I would have never bought it. I would never even would have looked to see what it was going for to put a bid in. But I said, oh, that looks pretty nice, and I. I did. I, so look, when I was first collecting or the last 15 years or so, I don't have any black and white cards. They're all color because I just said, ah, I don't want those black and white cards. <laughs> now, like all the ones I've got lately, they're all black and white now. Yeah, you know, those are the ones I've got. Oh, Wagner card, Orlando, was it listed that way on the eBay description? Oh, yeah, okay. it was listed I know, as like, I put up. I put up a Mickey Mantle card, the other one of those 68 play tops. I had to go revise my listing because the listing just said baseball card, 1968. Now, if I wouldn't have been paying attention, you know, nobody would have saw it was a Mickey Mantle. You know, if somebody I, bids on it, I don't think you can change it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I revised you, my listing real quick to yeah. make sure it was. Yeah, in fact, happy. one of the the Honus Wagner I bought on the on eBay, uh, like I think it was last month or so, a little bit over, more six weeks ago. He bought it a real said, honest Wagner. It said bonus Wagner, B-O-N-U-S. Wow, wow. And I thought, oh, my gosh, it's got to go through e eBay authentication. They're going to say, oh, no, sorry, Fatso. Well, actually, this was, bonus. His, this was his Hans Wagner because that's the way it's on the card, Hans Wagner, H-A-N-S. Yeah. Right. But, that's uh, the, uh, the one I just yeah, bought. It was, and and it, was from a sell, it, it was from a seller that had like 4,000 – positive reviews and he had a, over a hundred items cards for sale some modern I mean, but but some yeah modern. that's that's crazy man so, i mean i guess there's still deals to find i look for deals like that you know that's really what I a collector you know like they're not really attuned to what they've got they're just like looking at that's product. it's pretty rare that they don't know what they got usually uh, they, they know what they overprice it yeah he knew he, he knew but he just put the starting bid because that's got a, that that he that he has starting bid at auction at 99 cents and but he that's got to make rick that's going to make rick oddball just pissed when he finds out unless he's already got it <laughs> he's not gonna bid the booth i was working at in dallas the booth i was working at in dallas we had a babe ruth from that 48 top set i don't think it yeah. sold this weekend i've yeah, seen what, them what i've seen them around at dallas yeah what are they asking I don't even remember. What booth were you working at, Stukes? Um, Ultimate Collectibles. They're on and Facebook. Are, oh, they are? In yeah. uh, what group? Uh, the, the vintage? Uh... They're just, all, I think they just have their own Facebook page. And they need to join the vintage groups. There's some good, yeah, there's like three or four so good vintage on. groups. I know. That's why I guess They've some people so don't know that they don't want to. They don't want the extra aggravation of dealing with idiots on Facebook. Oh, well, <laughs> they got know. so much going on that they can't keep up with what they have. They got so much going on. They need you to help them at the show. Yeah. Are you going to the Strongsville show? No. 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 Too far. I'm definitely coming to Dallas, and that's after uh, Strongsville because you guys are all going back to the National to Cleveland. I mean, how many times can you go to Ohio? Think about it. I mean, that's just <laughs> every ridiculous. Day, every day. I mean, is that where you live there, though? Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm right on the border with people. <laughs> you go there every day. <laughs> well, I mean, to tell my wife, I'm going to Ohio again, honey. She's going to go. No, you're not, fat. Yeah, so yeah. you're sitting right there. Northeast Ohio. But I am going to go to Dallas because my grandkids are in Austin. They're coming out for the summer. But I think I'm on the last quarter. That'll be my my next trip going to going there because I, I really want to go there and take the kids there. We're gonna drive. Go, go visit. Go visit James. If I'm there, come and visit me, James. We will also yeah. show. 
Matt. Matt. So I want to show this card to I want to show this card to Rick if he's still around with Oddball. He, Rick, should come on, come on, Rick, hit the link. Yeah, Rick. Should. So I want to know if he knows anything about this card. I kind of got stuck with it in one of the bids I got on. Uh, it was one of the first things I won in auction in quite a while. I heard he's a, tar a horrible player. What a, what a bummer. I know he's a bum, but look at it. It's a, it's a, he, not even a plain day card. It's a 1928. And I got all caught up in the fact that it was a pop one of three and pop this and pop that. They get me with that pop shit all the time. But do you know anything That's about it? Nice. What do that you know? I know that. Centering. It does, and the back is perfectly centered. Look, that's a it's a hand cut <laughs> card. Yeah, hand cut. Yeah, yeah. I I was looking at mine to see if it was like the uh, American caramel, but it's. Do not. you know what it is? So do you know what it is, Orlando? Have you heard of that? No, Mangini will know. Mangini, uh, Mangini know or Rick? I'm not too sure what that is. But they those guys got me into I, the uh, the oddball it, it, stuff. It looks like this. It looked just like this one, but it's not. Alexander, right? No, that's American caramel, right? That's American caramel, and, yeah. and American caramel is much bigger. Fat. This is small, almost like a uh, tobacco card. And what it's is it? Tiny. Anyway, it's pretty neat. Yeah, this is, is there a number on the top of that? It's a W card, right? Um, yeah, W's are can are strip cards. Is that what that means? W five hundred two. Yeah, I thought it meant drunk driving in a. 45 WDUI WD40 <laughs> means it's been cleaned with WD40 <laughs> <laughs> and hand cut with a letter press. <laughs> oh, shit. So I, 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 need all... some of, I need some of that beer to get some of the personality. That oh, has. my God. I'll tell you what. When I'm drinking, I'm so happy. It's been a rough week. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm so one half of the seven. That's all I got. So yeah, what? <laughs> I, only have, I only have half the seven. It's a fourteen to nothing. Yeah, the seven and seven. That used that's to what I drink. Fourteen more. I don't. I got Ozarka mixed with Crystal Lake. <laughs> Ooh, it's diet, right? That's what I should yeah. be drinking. I should. I should have had a diet drink tonight. Remember when but I was I talking about that fifty-two Matthews though that I that I I really felt I missed out on. Yeah. This is really similar to what that Matthews card was like. I got this preacher. Row. Is that a preacher row? Preacher yeah. row. Preacher. I love that. I love that. I have that card too. An SGC one, but you know, perfectly centered. Perfect yeah. card. It's just the back with the paper loss. Yeah, I mean, you know, like but, I said, I mean, the front of it is gorgeous. That's what I look at. Right? And the card is probably you probably got it for a song. Yeah, not much at all, you know. And I always like Preacher Row. I don't know why. Yeah, but I, you know, the fifty-two Matthews that I kind of missed out on was very similar to this. It had the the marks very, on the back or the out of the scrapbook. Nice front, but the back was boogered up pretty bad. Worse than this one. Well, I don't know. Like you know, it's funny. I've never been able to pull a trigger on one of those Matthews cards just because of the cost, and they've continued to go up. And I. Yeah. And I've got all the other Matthews runs, but I just, I don't know. It's hard to pull the yeah. trigger on a, you know, uh, if I could find something like that, maybe I would. I mean, I could see the, yeah, the you know, trying to get I, it, but. It's just so expensive, you know, at this point. Yeah. Still and then you off. never can find a centered one on top of oh, that. Yeah, I was going to say, if you had a centered one like that with a pinhole or something like that, I might. But they're yeah, always, way, they're, they're really bad, uh, poorly cut. More really so than the Matthews, aren't boots. they? About scrapbook the the materials match. color match for the back too. Mm -hmm. Do you have a fifty-two the black and black? The black and black. Uh, do you have a, a Matthews fifty-two Orlando or not? No, I do not. Oh, no. Okay. Did you ever have I've, one? I've got the Campanella and uh, yeah, uh, the high numbers, but no. That's right, it's, it's, those high numbers are tough, and the Hoyt Wilhelm rookie card there also is. Yeah, yeah. Reese, and, and, and I love and I love Hoyt too, but I've never been able to pull the trigger on the Hoyt rookie. Uh, to spend that much money on Hoyt Wilhelm, I'm just not ready for something like it's that. It's me neither. I don't. I don't know that I ever will. I, I right now I'm no. pouring all my money into these other bums like Ruth and Cobb. You're and getting Gary. influenced to do the uh, pre-war, and I love it. Yeah. Well, I've been wanting. You know, like I said, I've been wanting to go that route for quite a while. It's just that I have. I was been collecting all the other things, and now it's been 
kind of like my main focus over the last uh, little, well, but almost a year and a half, probably looking at getting the roofs and filling in the cobs. I've had them for, you know, the red one and the bad ons and the offs and trying to collect that. I'm just short of the green like you are. I think Orlando, you're looking for that too. Uh, yeah, I would like to get the green one. I don't have the, I don't have any of the cobs T206s at all. But yeah, if I'll, I'm going to get one. I, do you want to see I'll some of my low IPO yeah, cobs? Cobs? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cobs? Okay. Those are. I love seeing cob because I don't own a cob, so I love to see you know yeah. other people. And they, I'll show you what five. I collect, and they're not all that expensive, you know, because they're lower grade. I think that's all I have. Like, so. I have the two I mean, two I get... the gold border, and I have mine is just authentic. Is it? Is it centered? No, it's authentic. It's been trimmed a little bit on the top, but it's. All right. All right, so I think I showed this one before. This is just the basic red. I, I actually got this at the same deal that I think I told you guys all about, about that, uh, my 51 Mantle and the 51 Bowman. I got, this was the third card of the bunch. I mean, I should have bought all the guy had, but I just couldn't see putting all that money out before the, when the pandemic was starting. So that's the red one. And look at that Beautiful. with the color. That's great yes. eye appeal on that. I mean, isn't it? And it's centered. But it's only a two. And that's kind of what you want, I think, in these cards. A one yeah. to a two, or even authentic. If you can, because there's, I think there's what? a ton of these out, out there. Does it have you a know? crease? No. Yeah, none of these have creases. It's Why is it a two? I have a glare. There's no paper um, loss. Because if you look, yeah, actually, so there is some paper loss on the uh up above the red here oh i see it yeah above his you head know, like, yeah above his yeah, red in this yeah. area in here yeah, right above yeah yeah but not on the face or anything but the rest oh. of the card is just gorgeous so there's that yeah i mean there is some paper light, very light paper loss on the front now that you look at it but i mean who cares when it looks that good you know and i got that one for a song and that's when that's when I got hooked, really, and then shit hit the fan on the other ones because they weren't bad shape. Mike said Kurt can turn that into a four in no time. He probably could. I mean, I don't know. He could add some color to it, trim it up a little, <laughs> soak it. Or he could, on these, he could get the tape stain off the back. These last, next two have a little tape on them, it looks like, and also tobacco, both. I got these from Al at the Love of the Game. You know that guy. Oh, yeah. This is, and look, it's a two. Another beautifully centered And card. another one that's semi-low eye appeal. I only bought it because it was centered on the back. Actually, it's not. Gem that's Mint a beautiful too. card. But it's a gem mint, too. Yeah. It is. It's mm -hmm. nice. I mean, I have a decent eye sometimes when I'm not drinking. I love drinking. the color on the background of that with the green. Isn't it? Green. Green. That's one thing I'm just so attracted to. Yeah. Gorgeous. Let's keep moving it around. I'm just not that great. There's got to be a better way to show cards, you guys, than these stupid moving them around and everything. Some guys are so in good person. at it. They, how? In person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except for nobody's ever going to see these in person, unfortunately. They're going right back in the safe. Yeah. So here, and then this is the last one I have of the Cobbs, the uh, of the T two hundred six, and I still I still need that uh, green one, of course, but. This is another one that has the uh, yeah. tobacco stains on it. Yeah. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Right there, yeah. And see the tobacco on the top? That's what I like. It's centered pretty well, right? I mean, yeah. not for yeah. me. My eyes kind of... You know, the funny thing is, is I tell my wife about the centering and all that, and she has to laugh. Because when we get stuff done around the house, like light switches or... Anything that has to do with people are doing stuff that's supposed to be level. I look at it and it's always crooked. It's always <laughs> off center a little bit, and I always catch that. But on the cards, I don't care. Funny. <laughs> I can hang but something I think all, off the TV three... and it will be off center forever. And I'm sitting there trying to get it right. And... Yeah, I mean, they're the right. approved cards for sure. No, I mean, yeah. you know, the thing is, like I said, you try to get them when you can for the right price when they pop up and. You get them as centered as you can. Some are better than the others. You get lucky, you know, and others. And here's one that I think is pretty centered. I got a really good deal on this one. I, I think uh, Orlando's looking for this. This isn't a cob, but I just, I don't know that I showed this one before. Yeah, that's the Walter. Look at that. I mean, I always wanted that card. That's a beauty. Ever since I was a kid, I always loved that card. 
I love yellow cards with the yellow background. Me too. I mean, the colors, the colors on these cards, like that are, they're over a hundred years old. That's what the people don't understand, yeah. but they're just so nice and such great works of art. And I don't know. I get kind of twisted sometimes when I'm talking about all the other stuff, like the shoestring Otamis. So you guys kind of started talking about that a little bit. So I knew that was going to come out yesterday when I heard that, that the first thing that the guy said was, uh, you know, he did, he, uh, Otani, uh, told him to do it or how it was approved, you know, for him taking the money because he's gambling with it. So that was going to be one word against the other. Yeah. And then it's just, you know, it just pisses me off being a Dodger fan. And Dave, I see that Brooklyn Dodger hat, but I knew that this, this was going to go bad. Everything they do, I mean, look at the Trevor Bauer deal. Look at every deal that they, other than Mookie Betts, the trade, and that worked out pretty good so far. Freeman, I will say that's, they're pretty lucky because normally shit turns the, turns the shit with them, you know? Yeah, I seen a thing the day is like Trevor Bauer going with the Mexican Red Devils. <laughs> from like May, I mean, this is, to May or something like that I'll show you my last cob I think I might have shown this to Orlando already but this one's just a couple months old this is a really neat one. Oh, I love that one that's, you know, that's nice. it's that's a pretty a really nice one nice. for a two and a half again it's off center and that's why it, if it wasn't off center it would probably be a three and a half I love those American caramel cards aren't they nice they're just beautiful I'm so, and again look at the color Nice card on the back. Yeah, centered, yeah. perfectly centered. Well, I think that's about all for, all for me tonight, folks. I don't <laughs> have the cob, but I do have American Caramel card. Who's that guy? He looks for Rube Marquard. George Mullen. George Mullen. George Mikan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, George Mullen. George Mangini knows who George Mullen is. George Mullen was one of the great pitchers for the Detroit Tigers with uh, Ty Cobb and Sam Crawford, and he led them to the championships. He was a 20 but you know what's, what's going to end up happening is after I collect famer, all but... these guys, after I collect all these guys, I'm going to go back and continue to collect more of them, these uh, caramels, because I just love them. I really do. I'm, a, I'm the addicted backs, to them. I mean, the backs on these things, this was way off center, so it's not that, but the backs are nice. I love the, mm -hmm. I love that caramel thing on the yeah. back. And I, I just can't believe I never really, I, it's so funny how your focus changes when you, when you get everything or get the things you want, you know? I mean, sometimes it's a beautiful tie time. There's also look, Hannes, there's also Hannes Wagner in that same set too. I have that on my list. I've got a list going, boy, you should see it. <laughs> It's not good. I know I don't have the money to buy everything on the list. That's for sure. And then here's the last one that I had. I think I showed this the last one. There's always one more. Yeah. More. Mm. That's the a Wagner. And it's pretty nice. It's an MK. Beautiful. We were saying that where's the mark on it? You know, I still can't find it. But uh, that was that was a hard time. A hard time finding one. Breaking my cherry on Wagner, and then the yeah. back. Now that's the Philadelphia caramel, right? I want to tell that story sometime. I can't really do it here because I need to send somebody pictures of the uh, that Wagner, that M116 yeah. that I had that was in the – I showed you the pictures of that because that's that a really crazy. good story, especially since I, you've been trying You've been trying to uh, – I've been trying to bid on those now, and they are out of sight. I mean, they're like you literally can't. those M116 Wagners. You can't touch them. There's one on auction right now, and it's I think like oh, fifty thousand dollars or something. I know. Like that. I mean, it's a, good. the one with the blue background. It's beautiful. Yeah. So it looks just like the uh, T two hundred six, but with the blue background. Right. They say it's uh, really thin. I guess that's probably why. Uh, some yeah. compare the forty nine cents to. Yeah, forty nine cents. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They are really that. that for me, I'm the forty nine leaf, or just you know, if you look at the artwork here, here's uh, here's a forty nine leaf Johnny Mize. What? I yeah, mean, the artwork on those are just really, really nice, you know. They are. I don't know why I never appreciated them more. Yeah, I mean they're they're not beautiful cards, but it's kind of like that art deco type look, you know. And yeah, it, it, it really it really is. For, I mean, remember most of the cards back in the days were black and white, you know. Mm -hmm. The same year that that was that those were made is when they. That's made, when uh, that made that tops. You know, they had these coming out. You know, this is you know you had these and then. That's the Bowman. You get the beautiful colored, and it's like, you know, it, it was a big change back in the day. They're not right. You know, 
There's my 49 Johnny Mize. Eureka. Uh -huh. stamp. That's a, what kind of stamp is that? Eureka. Eureka. Yeah. So I've been yeah. looking into getting into some stamp collecting too. Like the belt. What's it? That, uh, the one with the Dodgers on it. That, um, yeah. The golden stamp. Golden stamps. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. They're very affordable. Is that, is that what you have? No, what's that? No, I have you Eureka. Go. That's the 48. That's the 48 leaf. That's the real 48 leaf. That's far. the real 48 leaf. Is that, yeah. uh, I can't see. Could you put that on big screen? There you go. Doak oh, Walker. Look at how big that football is. Look at the little pinholes, right? See them on the on the white, the, the pinholes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. I just get – that is so great. That Look at that football. Yeah. That, that was, was back a, uh, thrift store find, too. So That was a nice find you had there you yeah. showed. Yeah. They, look, man. they look so yeah. nice compared to the Bowman. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, it looks like the Bowman. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Thank you. Gosh, I love yeah. those. Old, oh, I love that. Hi, diddle, diddle, the cat in the fiddle. This time yeah. I think we run up the middle. Here's another one <laughs> yeah. that I really like. Oh, oh, wait. Who is that? Who's that, Scott? That player? Bruce Bruce Smith, 41 Bruce Smith, Heisman winner. Oh, my God. This was another one. If you check it out, though, you, I don't know if you can see the crease right in the middle across the 2-2. Oh, oh, that's the blonde bomber. bomber. Bobby Lane. That's okay. a badass card right there, yeah. guys. It's just got that crease that runs across the middle, and then uh, that's really I love you know pinholes, but man, it's sharp. I mean, can you believe all these things? And you look at all those things you're collecting, Greg. That's incredible. Yeah. This is one I don't know. I mean, you have quite a, a lot of. I don't think there's a lot of value in it. Billy Khan, the boxer. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look at the blue on that too. Yeah. That that yeah, looks I, like yeah. That. Those 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 forty eight leaves were just. Is that what that is back too? In the day. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A leaf, yeah. They yeah. did the boxing and the football, 48, and then they the did the 49, the, uh, they released the baseball. That's the back of the uh, the boxing card. Yeah, so it, it almost looks like the play ball. Yeah. Really. I mean, they, they, they really didn't change much. Yeah. So That's great. Yeah, there's so many things out there to collect. I was really there? looking at a... I was really looking at a 48 leaf Kenny Washington this weekend. That mm. has a t I didn't buy it, but I was looking at it. I was thinking about it. That's pretty good for you. You took you took the first step by looking at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to look at it before you buy it. Unless that you're really. Don't make me go down another rabbit hole. Thank you. Look, here's, uh, I, I just love the old football. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Look at that big football right there oh, man. <laughs> and the helmet i love it looks like he's got stuff. some flyers and aviator goggles up on his head or something. who's that player yeah. bob waterfield hey. my he's dad loved him I lo oh yeah you better believe he is he's a, he's a wasn't he wasn't he a ram yes he was yeah yeah, yeah. that's the rams uh yeah. uniform yeah. there yeah bob waterfield he was yeah good. we should have made I you mean, he's, he's nothing it. he's nothing like uh, that bobby ebear guy that everybody loves on San Diego. You know what's so funny about all that money that people spent on that San Diego guy? He's like the fifth best quarterback San Diego's ever had, and people are spending a million on him. There you go, Orlando. Is that Bob is. Waterfield, Waterfield too? Waterfield again, yeah. A couple of just little pinhole on that right, just right above his hand. Yeah, I see it in the just red. A little pinhole there. Mookie would love it. He would. He's jealous. There's one right up in the corner on that red and white there. Somebody loved so, that card enough to pin it up. What do you got there? Is that on your is that on your phone? <laughs> yeah. I've actually got him. Like I was telling before you got on, Mike, I've got him in the in a bank vault. Um because one, our insurance, I haven't increased it for our collection insurance. Two yeah. raises dogs, puppies. That's what I heard that. You were saying that. I'm saying yeah, I got already I just, got mine eaten by dogs. So you, I like them on pictures better. I told in Orlando, I like the pictures better anyway. I spend time scanning them and then I spend my time flipping through them. But more so, I only like to show them here with you guys once in a while. Okay, so that, the last one I want to show that I discovered for you guys. Here's a cheapy, but a really good one. It's Willie Mays. <laughs> Hard to find. It's hard Nabisco. to find Nabisco. Wow. I've just discovered them. I've been trying to get Clemente and and that's graded because yeah. usually they're authentic. Aren't they neat? 
So I thought, yeah, I've been collecting those. And then Sammy, mostly because Sammy's really got me into those transograms, but nothing gets by him. He he, he gets first dibs on all those. So, so my oh, question he, here is, th that. thanks, Mike, for bringing that up, because I yeah. thought about this other day. Like, why do grading companies need to see the black dotted lines before adding a number to it? You know, it's like, you know, it's it's real. Like, give it a number. But no, it has to have the black dotted lines to show that. Yeah, and the people ask just as much for the A's, I think, anyway. And they look just if they're if they're cut well, what do you care? I mean, for that matter, I mean it really, yeah, I don't think it really matters that much. I, but other than the like, who cares? I mean it's, 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 like, it's only not, good I mean, for the it's for the PSA registry people that want to yeah. have it and want to put it on the registry. They it's do. for resale purposes, yeah, you're gonna get more money that way. But as a collector, you know, hey, if it's out there, yeah, you're right. It looks sharp if, and all that, you know. If you're not on the registry, like who, who really cares? Yeah, about I've that. I've never seen a maze card before. What, what, what about the the price point, roughly? I mean, yeah, it's like uh, that was like in the three hundreds, I think. Okay. Three to four, man. I think maybe just up upwards, close to four, as I short. recall. I have a short term memory. Once I buy it, it, it goes. <laughs> I. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I always I think just, I paid less than I did because then you got tax and who knows. I can look up. I can tell you exactly yeah, what we're right. it's just I, People, people don't look for those cards as often. Well, look it know? up on the eBay. Look it up on the yeah. uh, comps. I bought it off of eBay after yeah. I swore them off. I, I bought two cards from them after all. I swore, Actually, three since I swore them off. Mike goes on VCP now and checks everything on VCP. Look out now. Look out. <laughs> the world's in trouble. But nobody gives a shit about that VCP and the stuff that we're looking at. Yeah, no. It doesn't matter because, like, yeah. a lot of the times you're not stemming. There's no sale. Yeah. In that, Once a guy has at. a nice card with nice <laughs> high appeal, he, he, he can ask what he wants pretty much. Detroit collector. We forget. Yeah. We try to forget. Yeah. Like this is my uh, red man, Eddie Matthews sign. That's nice. Yeah. that's yeah. And I saw that other one you had too. Yeah, that, no though. Tab on, but... Who cares when it's signed? Yeah. But the thing is, like, I always know. liked Eddie Matthews. I have two of his signed balls back there because I yeah, like him so I much. Him. The thing yeah. about the yeah. ECP, though, is my purchase was, was the only I'll one. I'll pull out my there. red man here. Oh, red man I know. Here. That thing is, like, prime. Yeah. I love the red man. I, I, I love the oversized cards. I, I, I like them, too. Me. I've really, I've really enjoyed yeah. But I only like them if they fit in the PSA size. The PSA size holder. I don't like them in the notebook holder yeah. that I could shoot somebody's eye out with them. Yeah. They'd actually irritate me. That's, yeah. You know, when, yeah, when they like these stupid things. I showed these before, but they really bother me. Yay. I, hey, look who we got. Who do we got? Who do we got? Yeah, I like, I like oversized too. Somebody came in. I decided uh -oh. to show a Dodger while. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Trouble. What do you think? How's it going there, Rick? Nice, nice guy. Hey, man, you, I, you're showing fire with those Ty Cobbs. I'm telling you. I'm glad. I, I only got them because yeah. I know you liked them. Right. I probably overbid you. I'm not one that I don't know anything about. <laughs> what do you know that about that W502? Mm -hmm. W something or other. 502. Look what he's got. He's got the Garrick. Oh, man. Oh, that. That I've been wanting. I just got out. Yeah, okay. Is it the same thing? Yeah. 502. The cob, right? That picture is the same picture on the uh, Tharps, the Twerps, whatever, the Jim yeah. Thorpe ice cream yeah, card. They're basically the same set, just blank back. Yeah. You know, I tried to negotiate uh, for one of those Tharps cards. The guy on Net54 had two of them, and he's asking 2220. I asked, I offered him 1800 about a month ago. Then I offered him 2000. He said, no, 2220. Then I finally offered him 2150. Go, that's my final offer. He said, no, 2220. I go, you drive a hard bargain. Next thing I know, I kind of ignored him. I was going, all right. And then he sold it. <laughs> so for like 70 bucks, I lost out on it. You know, yeah. it's like, what a dick I am. <laughs> but those are really neat. I love that pose. So that pose came out, uh, Rick. More more than one thing, huh? Yeah, this, that Garrett this, pose. Uh, most of the checklist is the same as the uh, the Thorpe and the uh, Harringtons. And also, there's a the I see one very expensive in the, uh, the Yinglings. Yeah, and, uh, Dingling. 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 
but it's the same. I'm I'm guessing it's the same uh, person who printed these things was probably the same one. Probably these just weren't sold or, you know, I mean, no advertisement. And so who's got stuff. some Gehrig's to sell? I've been looking they at my also, Gehrig collection. It's light. I need help on Gehrig. They also have the same as the York, the York yeah. caramel. Mm. Same uh, poses, the same yeah. look. York too, and That's all those companies beautiful. were right there within. Yes, I mean literally within an hour of each other. You know, you can in Pennsylvania. So I imagine right. the same person, same company was probably printing those things. Different same quality picture. paper, maybe somebody said, yeah. "Hey, I'm not going to pay that kind of money." You know, yeah, for the paper that's... and. Don't yeah. you find that uh, these cards are really backs. getting their due right now, aren't they, Rick? I mean, these cards are yes. really. They have different backs. Yeah, yeah different backs. Now that backs. is that right. Thing, it, Orlando, is that a type one or type two? This is a type one. The type two are glossier on the glossier, front. yeah, and it's reversed. The uh, back is reversed. Right, and they're much much rarer. I, I you know, I, yeah. I've been looking for a type two of uh, Adolfo Luque because he's a Cuban player, and I haven't been able to find one yet. Well, if I yeah. see one, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Do you have some of the type twos type at all? Yeah, I have the. I showed. I have the uh, York, uh, the York uh, roof. Oh wow! Yeah, I don't have it here. It's in my. It's in my safety deposit box. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's a really, really tough call. Well, I have it's the. Really I have the Harrington and the York. You know. Wow. But the York is type two. That's. Super tough. I had to pay up for it. I mean, it, no, no. well, you of course. I think they're. You don't. Pay, you know, your name is crime. Crime don't pay. That's right. You're cheap. <laughs> Here, oh my God, that's a, a little big drink. I, I'm in Cal. Well, you're in California too, but Penny, yeah, so California yeah. wine here, Napa Valley. <laughs> I know. Fill that thing up, would you? You're making a mockery of it. <laughs> M101 is similar. Okay. Ah, Detroit collector. He knows a lot. Yeah. A lot more than that's why he's a Detroit collector. I've sure. seen his stuff. He's got, he's got stuff. Mm -hmm. He's got a great site, great channel. Mm -hmm. A great Cobb collection. Yeah. As I recall. So yeah. I was telling you, these are the things I hate. Yeah. Look at how big that is. That's crazy big. I mean, I like the pup, but that should be in a regular, you know. Large, not anything like this. I mean, come on. I get, yeah, I really, I could, you could kill the dog with that. I, I would send that back to have re -slab. Look at, yeah. They won't re -slab. Yeah, I mean, well, look at that. A beautiful card. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's talk about that sometime. Uh, that would really chase my family about these grading companies, okay? Go for they it. Get all this, they get all this money. You're paying them all this money to look over your card and everything. And they can't even put the damn card into the a decent the right holder i always thought that scg or sgc did a better job of it that they maybe even hand cut the foam piece to fit the card in some senses but when you look at some of these psa oh, cards man. they the card is swimming in there like even that one that you had there that tops uh, that honus now that's different that's a small card but it pisses me off when they have like a ten thousand dollar card into a thing that it's just the border is this big, and the card is in there. Just, they don't care. I mean, how do they get card? But I'll tell you, you know who does care? Oh, that's one thing. You know who does care about it, though, Come Orlando? On. I mean, that Mike Petty. In there. Mike Petty cares. That's who. Because guess who won't buy a card like that? Yes. I'm a buyer. I won't buy that shit. Look at the ticket stub. They don't. I tell you, there's no border. Well, there, I mean, there's a perfect example. I mean, it's nice that you can move it around and set it. But look, see the the plastic on top and on the bottom. They got nothing on the side. I mean, can't you fit that effing thing in there? No, look. For the baggies. Look, look at this. That card exactly, is exactly. In there. The it's dumbest. And they have. Okay. I mean, why do? And you should be able to send that back, and they should do. They should want to put that into another. How they holder. treat. This is how they treat their highest graded example. Absolutely, that's the point. And eight, so, and they have wow. it floating in there where it can literally like get damaged. This thing is like. Guess how much money Mike Petty is going to spend with PSA you know, while he's alive? Floating in there. None. Guess how much money he's going to spend with SGC while he's alive? None. 
Guess how much he's going to spend with Tops and this Panini guy and the Fanatics? None. Zero. They're not getting shit from me. (laughs) These guys, they don't care. I mean, look at that. This guy's taking a nap. I mean, you you can't turn that. that That's a problem. I mean, that thing can. can, Does it move? Does it move? I don't don't want you to ruin it. Don't ruin it. They move. Trust me, they move. Like rolling dice. And that's a near mint seven. It's going to get damaged. I'm scared of that. That's just floating in there. Anyway, that's one of my pet peeves. We should do a whole story on that. Everybody get their cards out and we should send it to PSA. We send them all to Dylan instead. Have you know, that, that, well, that'll yeah. fix them and get Dylan's great on there. Because, like I said, Bob, uh, oh, look at that. That's horrible. That's a hooligan chip. Why can't you put the hooligan chip in a little round coin holder? <laughs> they, they do that. I mean, it's an embarrassment, and, and they don't care. And people don't give a shit. That's a problem. Nobody says nothing. Double D grading never floats. And what I, I like about Double D, he has the centering grade. He's got the tool. I don't know where he got it, but I want one, and I want I want all my cards with the centering grade on it. Well, in see, fact, I want him to sell my cards. I want him to sell my raw cards. I want to send them to him for a price, have them all slabbed up and graded by him, and then have them sold, have him sell them on whatnot. With <laughs> well, his, what he with does, his, he sends the cards to Adam Vintage Sanctuary for eye appeal and everything, and then Adam sends them back yeah. to Dylan. <laughs> those two guys, those between those two guys, and Adam also at Splendid Sports. Those guys, they they don't have a, a non centered card in their whole in their whole collections. It's so ridiculous. Every card they show is and you know who else has quite the eye too is Darren Return to Collecting. Mm-hmm. He's a return yeah. to Anal Eddie eye appeal. <laughs> He's good. He's got it. his yeah, cards are graded and they got the eye appeal. Wait till they I can't start wait collecting to meet him. pre-war. Wait till they exactly, start pre-war. right? Find a nice center, seven, eight, you know, perfectly. You know, it's not going to happen, you know. Impossible. Yeah, it's impossible, except for unless you're Orlando. Uh, what does he say? Oh, they were roommates and they talked about oh, it. No. <laughs> True story. Yeah, that's funny. They were. They were together at the National. Yeah, that is that's so. Right. That's right. I'll tell you, they're, they're too. Peas in a pod, those guys. Such great collectors, great guys. Too funny. That better be on the next custom card. I appeal. Yeah, I appeal grade. Oh. (laughs) But that's just as good, the centering grade. You know, why doesn't the grading companies come up with that? And, you know, what do you think about all this wiping down and all this Kurtz juice stuff going on? You know what's going to happen? You mark my words. PSA is going to start doing that. They're, they're going to either buy him out or they're going to contract him or services like him that they're going to charge before you're, you're going to send your cards to them and they're going to clean them up for you before they grade them. Guaranteed. It's coming. That's what the hobby's coming to. It's coming down to gambling break, you know, with the breaks, the fudge packs and the uh, Kurtz juice everywhere. That's basically, those are the three. Definitely, Mike. They they can't make money with the flipping game like they did before. Mm-hmm. So now they're looking for other ways, and it's either resubmitting cards, cleaning, yeah, resubmitting, cracking. Resubmitting. They're going to do that with SGC. You know, they're going to close you know them what? down within a year, and they're going to have everybody send their cards to them, give them a special, probably you know, nineteen ninety nine with hundred dollar up charges and all the cards, and that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to send all my shit over to Dylan D. Uh, Kurt was doing an interview actually, and he was talking yeah. about uh, how to buy vintage cards to restore. You know what what kinds what cards to look for, and he was talking about the the, the low grade good eye appeal cards like that are one or twos that he can take out the wrinkles and clean yeah, the one that and, Dylan that the ones that you know, Dylan are fighting are centered, for for all those paying triple for all yeah, the yeah that appeal. are centered and all that stuff. Those are the ones he's looking for. But the funny thing is that he's talking in the beginning of the interview. He talks about, you know, I I hate altered cards. I don't want to buy altered cards and cards that are in holders that say altered and watch out for those. And, you know, take your card and make sure they're not trimmed, you know, and all that stuff. So he's talking about that. And then he's altering cards. 
You know, I mean, I guess you would call it altering what he's doing. He's not cutting per se, but maybe he, I, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it if they're taking altered cards, pressing them all out. Once you well, flatten them a little bit, that gives them a little more size too. And, you know, you put them in that little, it's just enough to get by and beat the system because they can't his, detect it. In his it. words, he calls it restoration. That's what he says. He's restoring well, the cards and that's against PSA policy. But right. that's, that's what he calls it, restoration. And you know why the thing that's crazy is I love the way – you can't argue with you love the way they look. I love the way they look. Yeah, but I you know, really what happens like it. is they don't – look, I, I, I'll show again the, the two cards that I had that – Yeah. What they do is they clean them up so much, and then yeah. they'll, they whiten the cards. Literally, they get white. Whiter. And they bleed out. They bleed out. No, look, look. Look at the white board. This is this is the look at uh, the biceps on that. I mean, look at his, yeah. that guy. He's a this, specimen. This sort of like me. Here, this one here that you see is white, the white border. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's been uh, cleaned. Right. The one that doesn't doesn't have as white of a border, and it's just a di different. Look, and look the back. and and it looks trimmed Here's to me on top. Back. Of it. Here's the back. Mm -hmm. you see the difference in the actual car the color mm -hmm. yeah this one this one had this is the natural one right this is the yeah. one right out of the or this is the one right out of the pack that's mm -hmm. how they came but you can see that glue stain on the other one yeah the glue stain came mm -hmm. back it came back see, the glue stain came back hard with the glue stain cannot and be a, a if you look at the bottom too it also has a little bit but of bleed the, through the back yeah, but it's been white, whited and cleaned so much mm -hmm. that the actual cardboard now is lighter than the real cardboard that actually was supposed to be at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, so and you see that stain came back. PSA would not grade that uh, uh, a six with that blue stain circle on the back today. Mm -hmm. No, they wouldn't grade that. They would get an A. No, it would get a two. Oh, get a two, right? It, yeah. it would it would grade like uh, here. I've, I've shown the it would image. grade like that cob I have, like with the little mark on it. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you real quick. I'll Which are great a, cards for a two. I like them. I'm going to show you a perfect example if I, I can pull. This I think here. somebody asked Rick if he ever collected sets. Rick, did you ever collect sets while Orlando was looking through them? Yeah, uh, that's where you start with sets. Yeah. Um, so I have the the sixties. Yeah, and 70s and that's it 60s and 70s nothing but further. You, you still have them too yeah see i had a question about sets because when i i bought that thrift store find like right now i'm, I'm going through these 1969 pops cards you know, i've got them laid out here and i'm probably about 100 away from having the set i can't find it now gotta I build it like like the hall of fame the hall of famers from 69 <laughs> You know, but I've got some 69 stars to go into that set if I want to. I don't know if I want to go down the road of set collecting. Though. That's my problem. I, I, I know. Really, no, you know, no, 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 no. I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, because I, I may it be is... like a Hall of Fame collector, but, Me you, know, too. Uh, you know, I've got all these 69s and 67s and some. No, don't, don't do 67. <laughs> Do yeah, because the high numbers Whoa. will murder you. Yeah, wait, wait a second, though. Wait a second. He I has the, most of the high numbers, the high numbers already. In that thrift oh. store find, though. I got a lot of them. Yeah. And 69. Robinsons and stuff oh, like the that. 67s, too, you have? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that thrift store my friend, find, My friend is building a 67 set right now. Craig, I still wouldn't build a set. The, See, that's the, what I'm worried about. I mean, well, it costs you yeah, so much money, the commons and the high. And once you commons, start, and once you start, you're going to be committed, and it's going to lead yeah. to 69, and then it'll be 68 before you know right. it. Yeah. And then, you, so unless you're just, I mean, you've been doing it right by buying and selling, just continue on yeah, I, I what do you're doing. Maybe it's it's tempting. Like I was tempted the other day to buy a 54 set because right. the guy had he had no stars. I have all the stars, but he was asking like fifteen hundred dollars for it or something. It was a nice set, but no stars. And so I'm thinking, well, shit, I could for I could get a 54 set. I've got all the stars to plug in. So and then I said, no, time. I don't want all that trouble. Yeah. This is just from eBay today. My shopping cart. That's your yeah. shopping cart for what? Shopping cart. You know what it is? All 1956 commons. Oh boy. Building the set. Oh so, boy, but that's a well, set you know, worth if, having. If, 
Yeah, that's a nice set. And, and you know, a lot of people collect there. like the set they were born and stuff like that. And that, that's yeah. nice, you know, or a set that you really love, like that 56. But the 56 yeah, to the point that you set. start collecting one building too. sets because at this time it's going to cost you a fortune mm. to be yeah. a set builder in the 50s and 60s. And my problem would be is that I'd want to buy, you know, I'd spend a thousand dollars a month trying to get them all at one time. That if you like, set, if you did a hundred dollars a month or something, and what's it hurt? I was basically off of one dealer that had some nice 56s that looked really nice free shipping okay. you know so i was kind of low on the bid but i bought a lot of them but still you know how it is when you're collecting when you're building sets it adds up in a hurry, in a hurry. oh you're not kidding especially with tax and license so i've, I've spent probably i have a years. i have foxy wants to say hi to everybody hey say hi hey. foxy <laughs> say hi i think the okay. problem with sets there craig is if you want to offload it, it, it's hard to offload a set because yeah. like dealers will probably buy the set, but then they're just breaking it up. That's yeah. I was, I was going to say it's cheaper just to buy the set. Yeah. You're, really you're not going to have the enjoyment, <laughs> but yeah. bottom line is it's probably cheaper just to buy the set. Yeah. It is. It is fun for old guys to do though. Don't you think sure. like just to like yeah. slowly put it together and, you know, right. put it in the binders. It's fun. It's nice. It's a That's good thing. Either way. Desk. Those guys have their chairs. And they're, they're all day going through the cards, you know. Right, guys are right. older than me, you know, seventy-eight right. year old guys with their checks. Yeah, one hundred and ten. Well, I mean, older than you, fun, but it's just expensive. They're older than you. Yeah, I Rick, know. looking Rock at that. The other Rick, Rocket Rick, he was doing that, filling in his yeah. sets. I was with him at the national too. And who knows? I could end up be doing the same thing in five years or ten years from now. That's you know, after I get to the point where I don't want any more of this. I'm, I'm never going to give it up. I'm worried about building these sets and, and just going down a rabbit hole that. And I just think how much room it takes up too. Like when you start getting no. books, I mean, take a look at Papino's room. Mm -hmm. If yeah. I had a room like that, my wife would divorce me. Yeah. There's no doubt as yeah. it is. She's already, she already has like one nerve and I'm on it. And Orlando <laughs> was talking in a video about moving and all the cards that you had to deal with. Yeah. You know, like yeah, just the yeah. massive amount of cards. And yeah. I don't want to do that. I did that once before. Me too. I was a young man. I was able to, you know, hump all those boxes of thirty two hundred yeah. count. Not you know, anymore. I'm sixty one years old now. I don't want to be doing that. We're the same age. Hey, did you guys see that Mike uh, Moynihan that box that he was selling? Yeah. 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 He had, he holds a <laughs> box up, and he and then once he showed the price, the uh, price the spreadsheet of what he was selling. He goes, yeah, it was it was twenty grand. I go, oh my god, he had twenty grand of just like autographs and and relics in a box like that. And then, you know, you got to put it somewhere. It's nice. He said, I'm going to give half to my wife. I said, oh boy, That's he's doing that. the right That's thing. You, you know, at, like, your yeah, it's exactly. good for him. Plus, he has a good network, and it was amazing how many people bought it right away. Hey, hammers. I was, this hammer, that's my that's my other buddy from the national. We walked the floor also for a long time with hammer. Forty four hammer. Yeah. Really is he coming guy. to? He, is he coming to uh the Strongville? I'm not sure. Yeah. Hopefully he'll say there, something hammer. in the chat there. What do you say, hammer? I I can yeah. text him and find out tomorrow. I I don't know. Say, but I'm hoping he goes. At least I, I want to see him again at the national. Yeah. Right. You guys are going twice, most of you guys. Yeah. Hammer's probably one of the better guys doing videos with his editing and stuff. Him and no uh, and Alex fifty three Bowman. These guys do an incredible job. And yeah, TJ, TJ Mac is another one I love. And you know, well, you I, mean, I, take I love some you. Lessons. I, I love Rick too. You know, Rick shows awesome cards, but Rick doesn't does. do the oh, editing like me. He's just like me. We're old guys. Just show here's the cards. My, and talk here's about my the mic cards. right here, you know. Yeah. Camera. Yeah. I can't figure out the lighting. I never. I, I can't. It is what I, it is. And these guys flip the camera around. They show the card. Like, How the hell? I can't even do yeah. that. It's a, what a bitch it is getting old. I the other th I was watching the one that you did, Rick, the other day. You're saying, I can't sleep. I'm yeah. up at night. My brain's in the back of my head. Yeah. I got a headache. No Cleveland for Hammer. And so he says, I'm going to show some baseball. Yeah. <laughs> and I started like rambling gonna... on for raw. I mean, for a rare. I just thought oh, it'd be right when I'm making it. Oh, this, oh, this <laughs> is not rare. This is rare. I don't even know what I'm talking. <laughs> I know. With a headache. I, I, I didn't come up with an answer. So 
I don't know. Got got some yeah. real experienced guys on here. Like I'm looking at Strong's Willie National for that 52 Matthews, and uh, you know I, I'm looking for something like like the three and below, you know. But I'll help you find one. I'll help you spend yeah. your money. I mean, like, <laughs> do you, do you think with trading some mantles? I mean, I'm, the 52 yes. Matthews is, is desirable, but for a a seller. That's lugging that card from show to show to show to show to show. Yeah, you'll be able to trade something for it, like the, uh, either a full trade or part cash right. or something. Because I know, like Matthews is a, a desirable guy, but he's not. He's not mantle. He's but the fifty-two though, that people that's, always want it. They always yeah. want it for some reason. I, that, yeah, I but if you look. find a dealer that's had it for a while, he can move those mantles that same day. Right. The Matthews right. may take him a little longer to move, so it depends on the dealer and the card itself. And I remember you were talking to Orlando about trying to build a rapport with the dealer, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. talk to him and, and, you know, uh, and I really, I would like to look at Strongsville and the national. I'm really, I mean, it'll be my one chance this year to maybe do that. Yeah. I think it's great. I think, you know, bring the cards that you definitely want to, and just start slapping them on the table when you see it, when you yeah. see what you want there or something like it. And I think you'll be surprised. These guys all, they're all used to it. They know what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, I mean, they're really professionals. They'll trade because they can move the mantles really easily. Especially for the mantle, they would definitely yeah. the mantles they would trade. That's what I've been thinking in my mind. I'm thinking like if, if I was a dealer, you know, a big dealer, I, I know I could move the mantles quickly. Mm -hmm. you know? And but that Aaron I or the uh, the maze I've got to or not the, the uh, Matthews I got to carry that with me. And uh, you'll and get it. A lot of people want to buy it, but there's only really not that many people that will be willing to spend the money for it either. I think that, or they can. You're right. So, and the trade makes it a lot much a lot easier too, as far as on the pocketbook. I believe any hey, little uh, bit you can say. <laughs> hey, Matt wants to know uh, what other Matthews you're targeting. Well, I need to get the 53, and uh, the 53 tops, the 52, and uh, I'm hoping this weekend to get that. 55 uh that's in the psa 8 so um, psa 8 yeah yeah that's gotta be a fortune it's getting up there oh boy well sermons must be good where you're at <laughs> no I, I wish yeah <laughs> <Where you're laughs> good. yeah, yeah I don't get oh. nothing, from the, nothing from the church I, I am, i'm a railroad engineer too though so I work oh that. that's good Good for you. And then plus you just, uh, you, you, I heard you saying you were selling on eBay. I want to ask you, how, how do you ship the cards? I, I buy like the bubble wrap. Okay. And, uh, like it's a, a little bit big, like a six by eight bubble wrap. And then I, I usually use cardboard in a nice folder. Cardboard in the six by eight. And then yeah, and how I, do you I, buy I, the postage? I, I just go to the post office and pay for it. So you don't use eBay shipping with tracking? I don't sell enough to, to do that yet, no. I mean, okay. you know, I'm still just doing regular postage. Like going to the post office, you wait in line to do that? I, well, I live in a small town. <laughs> I get you. Because I yeah, want to, yeah. if I do it, I want to print it. And I, I don't yeah. know what to charge. And I looked at it. I kind of, because uh, everybody's starting to sell. I want to start selling my, some stuff, but I just can't bring myself My advice for shipping, and, you know, you, you, if you're going to ship cards that are going to be worth, you know, a few hundred dollars. Ship them in Maybe the box. less. They have yeah. the yeah. box. You know, the shipping box is one price. You could put even two, three cards, four or five, a bunch of cards in that. Like and a priority box? Them. They're $10, the right? The priority box, yeah. No, I yeah. think it's like uh, five ninety five or something like that. Maybe where you one. live. Yeah, small know. priority flat rate yes. boxes. They're $10. Okay. My wife is showing me on Amazon to buy some, you know, you can buy some boxes like in bulk on Amazon. Or envelopes of packages, you know. Yeah. A little bit I mean, either way, the post office. On, on eBay, either way, you just you put the the postage that, and the seller's going to buy it. You know, pay the postage. I mean, hey, try, of, um, but, um, hey, for for shipping, try pirateship.com. Pirateship.com. Yeah, save now, up eighty nine percent off. They've been doing it now, since twenty fourteen. They've actually the last two cards that got lost through eBay were on that pirate ship that I bought. Oh, really? Believe it or not. Yeah. Now I'm on stamps.com for that I send my work out with. And then I just think that eight, you can't go with right on eBay and do it, huh? You don't recommend that with the tracking? It's too expensive what they sell? Right. You can do it. I get a discount gonna, on eBay when I sell. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it depends how much you're going to be selling on eBay. Like, uh, like Dylan, when he sold on whatnot, 
he charged a dollar shipping. I think he said he sells it uh, with one or two cards. You can just put it on regular. It came packaged beautiful yeah. and it came fast. And I don't know that it had tracking. Yeah, that's the uh, the, you the have single to have... envelope. I think you put a couple of cards in there and send them that way also just for the. And I guess you would put stuff like stuff in there like there that you don't care about losing, like what thirty dollars or less or something. Yeah, yeah, Th those are just cards. You can send them like a standard envelope, is what it is, and it's uh, it's less than a dollar, but you can only put I think a couple of cards in there. Okay. And you just can't put you know a graded card or anything like that in there. No, yeah, that a graded card you'd have to put it. You probably yeah. should just put that in a bubble mailer box. Or box. That's what I've been selling a lot of on eBay, these little 68 game cards. And I love those, and I've, I've got a bunch of them, too. I, I, love I need one of those mantles. Yeah, Mantle, Bays, Aaron, Killebrew. And Clemenis, they're always there everywhere. Yeah. And they sell need great. One. Dave needs one? I need a Mantle and a Maze. I have the Aaron and Clemente already. Do you? Okay. Well, look right there's a... They're hard to they're hard to find nice, too. You know, you can't have great... Yeah, the it's tough to find those. centered. And that yeah, mantle, nice I mean, the uh, the maze is the last one in the set, so that's a tough one to get in great condition. Is it? Yeah, well, I, I think remember it's those. The number 24. The I think they last. came in every pack, didn't they, one of those? In every yeah, pack? one per pack. One per pack, I remember Yeah, that. I remember those, yeah. yeah. I, nice got, little, I remember nice opening up a whole box of them in 68. Yeah. I played yeah. with and those. The, I played the game. Time. Me too. We played yeah. with and the deck And the deco edges. Yeah. The decals yeah. were those in '69. The little posters. When were those decal edges? Deco. I like the. Deco. I like the posters in '67. Look at Orlando's the got the decal edges, right? The yeah, East, the yeah, yeah. You got. They both got them right there. Look at. Yeah. Yeah, it's the decal. Rigosi. I used to like him. 1969 uh, cards. Yeah. They're '69. Yeah, I love 69. them. Yeah, yeah, they came yeah. out that little decal. Too. Yeah, they're nice. Oh. I mean, they're nice cards. Yeah, they have. Yeah, and sixty nine had the decals too. Really but when did they? To... There's a decal. Look yeah. at you guys. Yeah, I've yeah. been thinking about those, and I remember I used to put those on. We used to rub them on. Now yeah, let me yeah, ask: When did they? Do you guys remember when did the packs have decals, and when did they have coins, and when did they have decals? I mean, do you, was it different series? Different yeah, years. Good. I think just different, 19, years? different series. Seventy, they had. I think yeah. seventy, they had the coins. That's the uh, mantle there. Yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Off yeah. center and the yeah, floor. off center by holding. They're all, yeah. Actually, they're all off center. Like Seventy-one that. was the coins. <laughs> that yeah. one's not. That's yeah, a nice mantle. That's that's, that's actually centered. They're all yeah, off centered like that. <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, I can't believe you guys have them all at your <laughs> fingertips. That's a funny bit. That's the funny base too. See, they're all like that. They're all like yeah. off centered. Greg's is perfect. Is Greg's them, is actually on... centered. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? If you would turn it around. Yeah, it's it's really. Uh... So Rick, I think you need another glass of wine. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, that was the biggest no. glass of wine I ever saw. That that was there. No... You go. That's an oddball. Who's an Eddie Matthews? Oh, oh come on now. Yeah, look at that. Spick and span? Yeah, yeah. Man. I've been wanting with the spick and span. I know uh, um that's how my lips were strong. Matt's got Nash a bunch of those. That. The home run derby one from 59. Those home run oh, I'll man. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Those home run derby things are don't even mention those things. Those things are hard to oh, oh. look. There it oh, is. Oh, look there at it you. Is. This was a gift. dirty rat. Uh as a generous gift from a uh, from Matt and Tyrus. Wow! Oh my! Where did they it's get got a pinhole, Mookie? Who cares? Give me the pinhole, yeah. man! I missed out on a nice Hank Aaron with a pinhole oh. not too long ago with that Willie Mays. Uh, man, I missed out on that. I, I it was just a minute too late. He already those, sold them. Those are so price. tough to find. You, know, like, you could not find them anywhere. You know they came from the TV show, but where did they yeah. come? Like. Uh, where were they sold at? Like, how were they sold? Um, I don't know. I think they must have I given mean, them out, like, at the show, at the tape. Car dealers, I think. There, look. Oh, Rick's look got, at that you. Is... So I have, I do have the maze, but, again, it's in the safety deposit box. Well, you need to take that out of the safe deposit box and I'll drive up and pay you off for it. How Rick, much you how want for it? It's you no know good. Rick, it's no good in the safe deposit box. Why don't you sell that thing? It's holding you back. <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> 
<laughs> you should go to the safe deposit box. I'll make a drive up. I'll buy you lunch. We'll talk about it. You know, Come those on, safety deposit deal. boxes are so darn sm Dave, Blue Jack, he's got a huge one. I have these little, you know, those little ones you have yeah. at the bank. Man, I have two or three, you know, whatever. But it's just Mine it fits in there, but I don't like going in there and having to take the stuff out. I feel like I'm robbing the bank. I, yeah, I know. I got the mid size one. Not as big as Dave, <laughs> but not as small as Rick. Well, Dave's got some <laughs> shit to put in there. That's why. And Rick. Well, yes, yeah, it, you, you don't need that in there. It's taking up way too much space. Why don't you fill it with hundreds? I'll even pay you cash. Come on, let's talk turkey trade night. You're drinking. Let's talk. Those home run derby cards, but what's what's the price point on them usually? Just, yeah, well, how much you think that's NFS. worth? NFS. NFS. So which one? The mage. Yeah. The mage. Yeah. How much? Yeah. How much you think I could pick one of those up for? Do you think? Uh, you could oh, not that. I mean, okay. Close your ears, but I mean, not that bad. Uh, three or four thousand, maybe. Is that bad, or I don't even know? No, I mean that's not terrible. It's better than seven or eight thousand, like they sell. I mean that I've been seeing or on eBay or whatever, or the mantles. Yeah, but I mean, I mean it's probably it's probably doable. Is that what grade is yours? Uh, I think it's a five. The one you're selling is a five for four grand. No, I'm not selling anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> Although Mike O wants this oh, one here, yeah. Wally Pope. I don't want Wally Pip. I want Mays, Willie Mays. <laughs> well, go for uh, the go mantle if you want to. You want to spend some money. Ash had one for Ash had one for about a minute. It was I think it was great or pretty nice too. And uh, somebody said, "Oh, I'm looking for a one. I can't afford that." I go, "Man, I said, I said you should." If, it was the last one he needed for his set. I go, man, if I needed that for myself for the last one, I'd be all over it. I don't care. I'm not, you're not going to find a one for much better. You might as well just buy I that. It's great enough. Huh? Derby cards. That's like nostalgic. Because I remember as a kid, yeah, like in the early 70s, like like it would come on you know, TV during the daytime, like a re obviously a rerun. but Right, of course. You know, I can remember watching like in 73, 74, Home Run Derby, you know. And, uh, yeah. yeah and that the announcer, the yeah. announcer died, like I think after the first. Yeah. Month or first whatever, and Ross Porter took over. I go back and I watch the uh, Aaron and Matthews when they did it against each other. You know, teammates. Yeah. I, I just love it. I love the. Uh, and Mickey Mantle. I think didn't he did he lose? He lost. I think Aaron won it all, didn't he? Yeah, I think Who Aaron did? was the one that won. Aaron won. Yeah. Anyway, or, it was Orlando. I think. Don't quote me on this. If I remember right, uh, she, uh, Chevy. Chevrolet was sponsoring the show, so they had them at their car dealerships. Mm. These the uh, home run oh, derby cars. The home run derby. Oh. That's how. Okay. The I have no idea how they were Aaron was six I, and one. I'm six. I'm pretty sure, but I, you know, I'm just. And I know they. Yeah. I think they. I believe they filmed it right here at the old Wrigley Field in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep, not too, right down this, not too far from me. That's pretty cool. Isn't that still that's still there, right? They still no. I think they they blew that place away a long time ago. Is it, okay, yeah. PSA yep. seven hundred. Take that. You, you were right, Mike. Offering. It's more like seven to eight thousand. I told you that's the one I saw, and I can and I can get Rick's well, for four. But I didn't buy. It. I didn't buy it yesterday. That's the thing. So I'm kind of left out. <laughs> well. If you ever get a headache and feel like selling it, you know my number. You just give me a call. And we'll talk. I, you're close. I would love to drive to you. Hey, before I go, because my wife's gonna kill me. It's dinner time here. Let me show yeah. you two monsters. Two monsters to go out on. Okay. Right. Oh, oh wow. shut up! <laughs> get out of here. Come on. Look at that. Well, yeah. the first one, one I know. Better. That second the one. The one is better looking. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Mike and I got the the first one, the the montage. Yeah, that's this badass. Huh? The, the uh, twenty seven is so twenty seven is tough because wow. that's their last year they produce cards. That is amazing. They look so great next to each other, and those. I think you need to go put those back in Show the safe deposit those, box right? and get yeah, that home back. run derby. That home run derby card is holding you back. <laughs> <laughs> back of those, Rick, are they the same or? No, they're a little different. No, yeah, they are oh, totally yeah, different. Yeah, this is the uh, 
the yeah. montage. Those That's are good. beautiful, They're gorgeous. The uh, twenty-seven looks better. It just looks better. It has a gloss. Not I'm saying, if you want, I'm saying the card itself. Forget the root. The card itself it has a gloss to it. It just looks better. The twenty-seven cards. I need to see okay. what that thing's called again. What? Could you please give me the call letters on that card again? The, that, that, uh, it's E one twenty. Well, it's the uh, E one twenty-six. 1927. 1926. Okay. 1927 American Caramel. They're the cards themselves are kind of tough. Even if you have just a, uh, you know, a common, they're tough. Yeah, I don't. Like, I don't like commons. I don't. Because they them. they went out of business in the next year. They went bankrupt. American those Caramel nice. Company. Mm. I'm so check those out. They tonight. probably just didn't. I'm guessing that when I made a video doing a research on it, they they took five years off. I don't believe you ever see them. You don't see those very often anymore. No. I never They made that. the 27s, and I was reading somewhere where maybe because of a Ty Cobb got – he was whatever it happened with the gambling thing. He was from Detroit. He went to Philadelphia, A's, and they thought, hey, this company, American Carmel Companies in, Phil in Pennsylvania, let's do one more set. And the Cobb, it does show him with the Philadelphia A's uniform with the Philadelphia. So maybe they decided, hey, let's do one more. Ty Cobb's iconic player. Let's do right. one more set. Because he's was like his coming into Pennsylvania. Time. So I don't right. know. But. Anyway, thanks for the education on that. I, 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 that thing is right on my list. Well, you guys, you two have the, the 22, right? So Right. That's I just a, picked it up from Ash not too long ago, just yeah, because yeah. he had two of them. I don't know that it was the greatest Wild. price or whatever, but That's I mean, why I, just I have had them to get here. Them. I can't even put them in the safe. To, I think they're my two fate. I mean, I just love the montage. I, you love to look at them. I don't blame you. Me yeah. too. And you see, yeah. uh, Greg, like uh, that. I tr I was able to trade partial trade on that card when I bought it with Ash at the show. So that's why I think you'll be able to make a partial trade. Right. Yeah. You know, for that Matthews, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. yeah, when you when you find it, just but Rick, that, that that 1927. That's that's a lot rarer than the montage. I think uh, yeah. the montage. Okay, I think so it's the like top, top, montage yeah, is I think like top fifty or something. But that one is uh like what top twenty? It's or half. Top? It's fifty percent. Twenty five. It's about fifty percent less. About twenty five. Pop. Pop. The goes the weasel. <laughs> and you know what? I I. I paid for it. <laughs> I mean, just one of our recent buys. But really? you would think it would go more just because the 22, people probably don't know how rare it is compared to the 22. The 22 being an older card, it's not that much of a difference, really. Didn't the, didn't the uh, auction company put down pop one of one, one pop, pop, uh, pop seven, rare pop? Yeah, try to get all the good cards, you know. <laughs> I never saw that's a beautiful. I, mean, I, it, I, I still paid a lot, I but I'm saying is I, I was the the difference is not that big for mm -hmm. what it should be, what it should be for, you know, but, for being well, rare, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Enjoy it and good health, and hopefully you don't get any more headaches. I know, man. Don't get old. All right, don't get old. Hey. That's a that's good advice. Yeah. Hey guys, I, I uh, Dave, thanks for putting me on here. Yeah, um, thank you so much. You've been a great host, just uh, entertaining us. Yeah, it was and putting the chat up. Mouth, thank you, me, Dave. Mouth me here, Scott. Hey, great, it's always great seeing you guys. Orlando, yeah, always a pleasure. Channel, man, Scott, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow always, out of here too. In <laughs> two hours. Yeah, Orlando's yeah, already gonna do the right? same. Yeah. I'll have dinner with Ray. Where are you gonna walk? Well, me. Yeah, when are you gonna do that next uh, live uh, walk around the uh, the alligators? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's we need together. exercise. We need our exercise. Maybe, when are you gonna get out? It's a nice walk? day tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. But uh, it was <laughs> raining today what, this afternoon. What's funny is I'm waking up to Orlando walking. I know. Well, that's <laughs> what I said. Thanks. Like I'm exhausted when he gets done walking. I go, shit, man. I gotta go to work. I'm dead <laughs> watching Orlando walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll probably do that tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, uh, one of us has to be now. in shape. One of us has to be in shape. Hey guys, thanks for having me so much. It's been a pleasure. Great Friday night.
Nice I love y'all. I look forward to seeing y'all right, soon. Thanks, yeah, Take yeah. Care, all, right. Take care. all right, guys. Thanks. All the best. Bye. Bye. All right. So, uh, so I'm I'm gonna head out also, Dave. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll be, hey, Dave, I'll be, I'll my, be listening. Uh, I'll, be in, I'll be in the chat and stuff. This, this, this. Ahead, okay. Yeah, you'll be in the chat. Probably. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Great, yep. great meeting Orlando. you, my friend. Thank you, Scott. You Thank you, Dave. We'll talk again soon. Thanks, Orlando. We'll see you, Orlando. See you, Scott. Uh, I guess we're all going then. <laughs> Everybody else I can hang around. Uh, yeah, if you want. Or I just like close it out. I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm good. Oh, look, Adam. I'm not going anywhere. So All right, living. I'll hang so around if you want. Else want to join on. Like, I'll put the link up there again. Adam's card closet just popped up in here and stuff. Let's see. Did you say you something, Craig? Yeah, are you in Minnesota? Not right now, but I, I am, I am about six or seven months of the year. Okay. Right now, I'm, I, near, I, I, I'm, I, I'm near Dallas now in Oklahoma. Okay. I grew up in Wisconsin, and so I, I saw some of your Packer stuff every now and then on some of your okay. videos. Um, and uh, I'm a big Green Bay Packer fan, big Bart Star guy. But uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, I, where I, in Wisconsin I did you grow up? Bay. What's that? Where were you? Where'd you grow up in Wisconsin? A little town called Partyville, um, north of Madison. I'll be 30 miles north of Madison. Okay. Yeah. Toward the Dells? Yeah, my brother-in-law still lives in the Dells. My sister lives there. My sister and brother-in-law. Uh, she passed away a year and a half ago. My, my brother-in-law is still there. So. They have some good uh, antique shops there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good sports memorabilia. Yeah. See, I, I was wondering, wondering why you... Go ahead. Oh, did you want to, my contact info or? I will. I'll do it when I end the stream because you'll still oh, be okay. on afterward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, okay. We'll okay. do it on after that way. Yeah. Not, not nobody's getting your information that you don't okay. want to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, I, now I understand why why you're a a Matthews fan, living yeah, in you Pennsylvania. Know, my my dad, um, because I grew up a Brewer fan. But my dad grew up in Iowa, and so there was, you know, in the 30s and 40s, 50s. He went in the Navy in 55, and uh, he first time he ever went to a baseball game, they, the, they went up to uh, Milwaukee. And uh, my dad always remembers he, he was kind of 18 years old and first time at a ball game, and Eddie Matthews hit two home runs. And uh, so my dad would always tell me, I remember going to see a young, he'd always say, a young Eddie Matthews. And, he hit two home runs and a young Hank Aaron. And, and so my dad was always remembered that Eddie Matthews and uh, because my dad was a left-hander and Matthews was a left-hander and believe it or not, back in the forties and fifties, they try to make left-handers be right-handers. Yeah. Like the, in school, they try to make you right with your right hand. And so my dad always loved left-handed athletes and, uh, you yeah, know, but when he saw Matthews hit two home runs that, and he'd always talk about that. And, uh, so I, I really then it, then he like spawn as a pitcher yeah yeah and uh then in 1975 i got to see uh hank aaron hit a home run at milwaukee county stadium with the brewers um it was 745 i believe he hit it off okay. the light of blue and uh i was like 13 years old so i remember like you know i, I knew the importance of like hank aaron you know and uh I, I always remember seeing him hit a home run and my dad saying, we finally saw one. We saw one, you know, and uh, he was did all Did you keep your ticket stub? I wish I did. No, I, I wish <laughs> I did. <laughs> you know, and, uh, but yeah, so those, those are why I'm a Brewer fan. And then the Braves, the Milwaukee Braves. And uh, now we live near Pittsburgh, so I'm a Pirate fan. Okay. And, uh, my first uh, game was in County Stadium too. Uh-huh. 1970. Was it 79? It was like a week before Thurman Munson died. Oh, yeah. And they were playing the Yankees. And Thurman played the night before and the next day, but he didn't play that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I miss wow. seeing him play. It's yeah, not well, Reggie. First game I went to was 1971. I remember 
uh, the Brewers played the Orioles, and I remember Boog Powell. You know, mm-hmm. what, what kid wouldn't like the name Boog? You know, what I mean, and uh, so I, yeah, I always remember that. But uh, yeah, a lot of games down there. He seemed like a big guy back then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a big guy now. Well, yeah. when I met him, he was he was big. Yeah. He sat he sat right there by his um his barbecue uh thing on was it what's that Utah Street there at Camden Yards? I think it's Utah Street. That's like out in uh, right field, up against right. the the big built the building. And stuff. He would sit there, and you could take a picture with him. He'll sign anything you gave him. Oh, really? For free, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, really nice guy. I always liked uh, like Boot Powell. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I remember so that light. He did a lot of light beer commercials too back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had the he had the body and the face for that. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a big guy, you know. He did look like a beer drinker, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm suffering with the Pirates now, so they're, you know, we, we've lived near Pittsburgh for the last 20 years, so we, we go to a lot of games, and uh, I just enjoy going to the ballpark. So, so are you looking forward to Paul uh, Skeens coming up? I am, yeah, desperately looking forward to it, but I, I'm glad he's going to the minor leagues, though, because he yeah. needs, uh, you know, he needs uh, to get refined, that's for sure, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping that he'll really be the real deal for him, like, you know, Garrett Cole is good too. When he came up, so they lost him to the free agency. Yeah, I, I watched the Skeens pitch the other day when they were doing that. Uh, what what is it that um, uh, the prospect games? Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he got out there and just just shut it down. I was like, dang, this guy's a beast just coming coming out. Yeah, yeah, he looks like the real deal. So I just, mm-hmm. I hope he stays healthy and you know progresses. I'm really excited for O'Neill Cruz, um, the shortstop for the Pirates. I think he's the real deal too. So he's he tall, like, isn't he? Yeah, six seven, six foot seven. He's got a lot of speed, you know, and and good range. Really, he's lanky, but he looks really fluid for a guy that big. You know, yeah, it'd be tough to hit it over his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some real power too. Oh my! You know, I mean, just really six seven, six seven. Yeah, and he's he's you know a lot of tall baseball players they kind of look a little uncoordinated, you know, just kind of gangly. But he's just real yeah. smooth. He's smooth. And uh, he broke his leg last year early in the year. Yeah. And uh, so he, he didn't really get a chance to shine. So. Yeah, Dave Winfield is pretty pretty well built. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was like six, 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 seven. Mm-hmm. Yep, and he was really so, thin when he came up as a you know in 74, 75. You know, yeah. he, he filled out, of course, as he got older, but he was pretty, he was, he was kind of skinny. He was put together pretty well, but he was kind of skinny. He was a good pitcher in college, too. Was, yeah, he was the MVP in the College World Series, yeah. and they didn't win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if he wouldn't have been out in San Diego in those early years, who knows? I mean, if he would have been, you know, in a, in a bigger market, better team, you know, if he would have been in Boston with that green monster. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, just really glad to hop on. I, I, I always watch a lot, you know, and uh, and uh, Sundays I'm, I'm usually too busy to do anything. You know, like even Saturdays are just like they're usually too busy. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty small church, so it's like, you know, but I'm always busy on Saturday night, Sunday. And, uh, but I was happy to hop on tonight, so. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was fun to have you with us. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to do with all these. You know, I, I kind of want to build the 69 set, but I kind of, I just, you know, I've, I've done sets before back in the 80s and early 90s. You know, I just... I don't know. I mean, yeah, I've never built a set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've built I them, but I ended up selling them. Yeah. Like if I was gonna build a set, I probably wouldn't do like a like a big thing. Of, like I'm more thinking like trying to build like the Redmond sets. Mm-hmm. You know, something that's a little bit more of that oddballish, right. you know, kind of thing that's you know low number, 
you know, and everything. Like the like like what is it? The Red Hearts. You know, you got the thirty three cards there, but that can get kind of pricey with certain players and right. and stuff. But I've been I've been buying some of the smaller oddball sets, like the Golden Press set, um, sixty nine Decalo Peachy. Mm-hmm. Just buying a whole set, and they're they're under three hundred dollars usually. That's right. what I look for, and you get, you know, then comes the day when those get too too expensive. I won't be able to buy them. So right. I'm just yeah. gonna get them out of the way. Mm-hmm. Like, like you've got it kind of made, Scott, with you being up in Minnesota, that close to Canada for all the peachy stuff. Yeah. Have you like gone over the border and like gone like shopping up there trying to find stuff? I used to do it a lot. I even went up there twice with Mister Mint. I know I knew how to get through the border. Uh-huh. He was afraid of the rubber glove. So he came with me so I could show him how to get through the border. That's pretty wild. Yeah. So he paid for he paid for everything. He paid for the hotel, all the food, everything all weekend. I picked him up in Grand Forks. He even had him eating sunflower seeds with me driving up to oh, really? driving down I twenty nine eating sunflower seeds. Uh, telling me stories about his 52 find and yeah all that other stuff <laughs> my oh my this is a good Dang. time what was, he, what was he going to canada for for a show or mickey mantle he's uh, he set up at a shop in winnipeg uh-huh. as a buying station so people were bringing mantles all kinds of stuff in i even saw a stanley cup ribbon from 1901 oh, from wow. the winnipeg victorias wow and few sweaters, some Avco cups, but a lot of Mickey Mantle 52s came in. Wow. But it, I got some good stories from that, those trips. I can imagine. <laughs> I, I think you need to start putting those, those stories out, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting going through the border, you know, because he's, I'm pretty laid back and he's pretty East Coast. You know, one not as patient as me. Mm-hmm. So we're coming back, and guys at the border had to count the money so he could prove how much he spent. So they sat at the table with him and they started going 100, 200, 300. <laughs> and he kind of goes, Can I help you? <laughs> I go, They figured it out anyway, because he said, Well, this is a banded so much in this band so they didn't have to count every hundred dollar bill because he had like fifty thousand dollars left over that would have been a long time. Wow. <laughs> you still would be there yeah we'd still be there <laughs> uh, it's amazing it's a good story oh um, man <laughs> but dip clapper was the card that we're joking about the whole weekend he played Ooh. back in the Dit Clapper. He's a Hall of Famer hockey player. Okay, I never heard of him. But I don't think he'd known he'd seen his card before, even know who knew he was. But just that name, Dit Clapper. Right. <laughs> so it's kind of a it, inside joke. Someone would bring cards in and go, "Do you have any Dit Clappers?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my. That's good. That's good. Watch, I'm going to find one of those cards now. At right, show. right, right. I'm going to be looking for a Dick Clapper card. I'm like, why does this name sound familiar? <laughs> D-I-T, Dick Clapper. Yeah, he, was, he was one of the few guys that got in the Hockey Hall of Fame without having to wait. And I'm not sure why. I have to look it up again. Because yeah. it's been 20 years or so since I've looked them up. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I got a bunch of hockey cards. I think probably they're not vintage. I mean, I know they're probably from like the '90s or something, and I, I couldn't even tell you who in there to look for, for for rookie cards that are worth anything at all. I'll, I'll, I'll when I eventually get through it, I'll, I'll send you something, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you know everything about every dang sport. I'm yeah. telling you, Dick Clapper. 
I'll tell you, like, I, I think I mentioned it once on one of Scott's videos. When I was in the Air Force, I was in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Yeah. UP up there where hockey was, uh, was God and king, you know what I mean? And uh, I can remember when I'd go to that little that little uh, card shop, there was so much hockey, you know, old stuff, you know, but I just kind of, I was not interested. Again, I was more into 87 tops and 86 tops or whatever, but I can remember that showcase yeah. had just all kinds of old hockey, you know. And uh, You weren't interested in investing, you wanted to collect. I know, <laughs> it was terrible. It was just... Uh, Looking back, I, again, I just can remember all those old cards, and I thought, no, I'd rather have this 1987 Eric Davis or Jose Canseco or whatever, Mark McGuire, you know. Just never listen. Uh, Theo, why don't you just jump on? Yeah, come on, Theo. We want to see your Dit Clapper card. <laughs> I got one of these for you. <laughs> How many of those do you got? There were, yeah, there were a few of them in there, and this one here has a little ding on the bottom of it. Yeah, I uh, see that. Yeah, but that was just you know some of the stuff that was in there. This also was like in one of the boxes that was uh, fairly had a lot of junk in it. You know, it's a, a pretty nice. Oh, I need that one too. It's a nice card. <laughs> it's a nice card you know. You'd be showing cards and be like, "Yeah, I need that one. I need yeah, that one." Yeah. I was surprised to, to see that in one of the boxes with some of the beater stuff. So, dang, it was an interesting find. Theo doesn't. Yeah. No, go ahead. Theo, what? No, he does. It's not late in the Midwest yet. <laughs> That's where I'm well, at. So. Oh yeah. Well, it's about eleven <laughs> twenty here. For, for us. Where are you at, Dave? In South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah, originally from Michigan. Okay. But, you know, retired out of the Army and moved down here to South Carolina. There you go. I'm on the border of Ohio, Pennsylvania. So our church that I pastor at is in Pennsylvania. We've been, so there's the church and the parsonage, and then we have a house in Ohio. And uh, they're only, it's like 30 minutes apart, so it's not too bad. So, see, uh, to, he, some places. See, yeah. He's there like, ask for a price. Trade night starts at 1020. <laughs> <laughs> Pacific time. <laughs> if you, are you near uh, Beaver Falls at all? I think he, he's south of Pittsburgh. South, okay. Yeah, because I'm just a little bit north of Beaver Falls, so yeah. Because aren't you like closer over to what the Youngstown? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So is Rick's Rick's in West Virginia, but he's not that far, I don't think. Rick who? Rocket Rick. Oh really? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know where he's at. Yeah, I've he's in West Virginia. Okay. He's got some nice stuff too. Well, I'll tell you what, I like yes. watching his uh his videos. He's got some nice stuff. Definitely. Yeah. Well, he's, now I guess it depends on where Rick's at in, in West Virginia. I mean he's probably well, let's say if he's up in Charleston, he's probably what six six hours from me, then I would say. But no, like wheeling's up towards the panhandle, you know, like and that that's close to where we're at in the panhandle area. I mean it's within an hour, you know. For some reason I thought he was up more towards the northeast. I don't know why, but maybe it's because of the Yankees, you know, he's with the, he's the Yankee fans. So I just associated that with being in the northeast. Yeah. Possibly. I mean I I thought the same thing like well with Adam, you know, Bench's Sanctuary, you know, being a Yankee fan, live, living out in Oregon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I figure he'd be like more of a, a pilot fan, you know, early pilot, you know, going into the right. the, the Mariners. <laughs> so anyways, I was glad to jump on and 
Well, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and end it, and then that way we can exchange stuff and, and chat just a few more minutes after. Okay. Sounds yeah. great. Thanks for the invite, Dave. Uh, no problem. Always. Nice great talk. talk. Nice great talk. meeting you live on online, Craig. You betcha. You betcha. <laughs> yeah, that's Wisconsin. You betcha. Yeah, they do rule. I'm looking that I'd love to get a home run derby card. Oh my. I, I've been looking at it, but I when I saw that one that Rick was holding up tonight, I was like, oh sheesh. Even though it was a Wally, what Wally Moon, wasn't it? You too, Adam. Yeah. Um what was that? What was it? Wally. What was it? Post? Wally Post? Post, post, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, that was a crazy. All right, all right. Before you, if you guys, if Scott, if you want to stay on after, you you can. But um, thanks everybody for joining in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all at the next game. Good night. Night. Night.